Welcome to Dice Friends. Tonight we're beginning the uh, inaugural storyline of Dice Friends, Escape from Simolo Plateau. So this is uh, episode one of both the stream and the ongoing story. Uh, as we are starting out, we're playing Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition on the island continent of Chult, which doesn't apparently have a real world analog. It's just an island continent where everything is ridiculously venomous. So Australia. Mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> a totally original place. <laughs> well, it definitely feels like there's some 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 South American influence in there. Some, you know, mm. perhaps perhaps Australian influence. Also there's dinosaurs. Right. Which is like Australia. Jules Verne. Land of the Losty sort of. Mm. There are dinosaurs in Australia, right? Yeah. <laughs> Aren't there dinosaurs in Australia? Probably. Uh, there's a lot of birds in Australia. Yes. There we go. That's, yeah. Are there? I assume there's birds on Chult as well. Yes. They're probably. They're probably birds, poisonous. So. Probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So as we begin the inaugural session, um, all of our heroes are in prison. Which uh, is great. We've been bad. <laughs> yeah, we bad. now yeah. to be fair, we knew that because we had to get that intro prepared. Mm. But that's about. I mean, we know we know what happened beforehand. We know we know how we got there, but that's sort of all we know. Right. Yeah. So why don't we start with character introductions yeah. and um, tell us who you are and why you're in jail, um, or more specifically, why you're telling people you're in jail because <laughs> that may or may not be what you were accused of. And if you want to, you can throw in a story about something that you've done in prison. Maybe you've had a negative encounter with the woman who controls the dumbwaiter that brings you food. Um, she's a, a large lady. She goes by the name Peg Leg. Um, are, are we... The only people in the prison? There are about 30 people in prison. Oh, okay. There are no guards. Pegleg is a prisoner. This is a oh. big cave. You're on a, a huge plateau. About a third of the way down the plateau, there's just a great big cave. They don't bother giving you guards. They're just going to send you down on the dumbwaiter. Get off when you get down there, or they'll just, you know, drop you. There's no reason to guard you if How there's we, no way out. The only yeah. way out is down. Right. Several hundred feet. Yeah. You want to try climbing that when there are like undead pteranodons trying to peck you off the side of the cliff? Yeah, go ahead. Maybe that's that the story you're going to tell me. They're pteranodons. They're also undead pteranodons. Wow. Wow. Well, all right. Uh, yeah, that's another thing Chult is known for. Lots of things are undead. Good. Yeah. I guess if, if there's a lot of things that kill things, then you're just going to end up with more undead in general because you have more dead. That makes good sense. <laughs> so this is called Escape from this plateau yeah. so presumably that's what we're going to try to do here well i to be fair i didn't actually check that with dale when i said that would be a good name i just assumed that not the entire campaign would take place in the prison it's mm. a bottle campaign uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's true it, it could be I, I guess we'll find out we'll find out yeah we can role play being good prisoners yeah i'm mm. going to be giving you some choices and one of those choices is, yes, we're just going to stay in prison <laughs> for the entire campaign. And yeah. I will do my best to make it fun for you. <laughs> uh, Paul, why don't you start with the character introduction, please? And then we'll just go around. Uh, all right. I, uh, my name is uh, Dande. And I've, uh, I was here, uh, I, w I was framed. I was put, I was, I, I was falsely accused 
of messing with the uh, the lizards that they really care about here. And uh, I don't know quite who who did it, but I will I will find some. I'm gonna get out. Of, I, I need to get out of here so I can find out who did it. But in the meantime, uh, I I have been traveling the world of Cholt, which is effectively the whole world. The world as you know it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been um, uh, recounting my travel, uh, writing about my travels in my diary, which was also taken from me, which I have to get back. Mm. Um, but uh, in the meantime, I'm trying to trying to be calm and uh, continue my meditation uh, in my monk training. Yeah. But it's hard. All right, I'm Mora. I'm an elf, and I'm not from Chult, but I came here because did you know that they are abusing lizards terribly? The, so there's a certain type of lizard that's in Chult. Could somebody start playing "I'll Remember You" by Sarah McLachlan, please? <laughs> please, a, please don't. There's a certain type of lizard in Chult, and the Samolo lizard. The, the Samolo lizard. N no, the no. Samolo is the fern. The lizard is available all over Chult, but oh. only the red fern. Right, uh, makes them grows poisonous. here. Yeah, when they eat this fern, they secrete okay. poison on their backs. So anyhow, they take these lizards and they force feed them these ferns. They keep them in little pens and they just jam ferns into their face. And then when they've eaten enough ferns, they just smash the lizard's skull in and scrape all the poison off the back. And it's extremely mean. It's extremely cruel. So I came here to free the lizards. My mom thinks I'm on exchange. <laughs> But I'm here to free the lizards because I am an eco warrior. <laughs> and, the, and so, so the, this this plateau that makes their living by having the lizards, we're not super stoked about that, eh? No, they were extremely uninterested in hearing my point of view, even though I think my point of view is correct, and their lizard smashing ways are wrong. <laughs> But I rescued four lizards before they threw me in jail. So I have the moral victory. And as a great hero, up and coming in the world, I will be, I will be victorious one day. No prison can hold me. What, what happened to those four lizards? I set them free into the jungle. And then a pteranodon ate them. But, the, but like I said, it was the moral victory. Circle of life. <laughs> exactly. Chelt is a terrible place. <laughs> I feel like that was worth a point of inspiration. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Chult is my home. <laughs> yeah, same. Like, uh, uh, I'm Bonton. Uh, I'm uh, <coughs> I'm one of the uh, I'm one of many albino dwarves that live here in Chult. I uh, we've split into tribes since we were driven out from the underground uh, by volcanic reactions, and I'm. Um, it's nice. It's been it's been nice to get to know you guys over the last four months. I feel that you're all really in interesting people. Um, I'm kind of keen to just get out of here and get back to learning more about medicine and healing. Uh, I found out a little while ago that uh, that I had a, a gift, and my tribe was very happy at the fact that I was able to, you know, cure people who had poisons and to and they then they. It made me the healer, and so I thought, well, the only way I can give back to my people is to learn more and more about healing. So um, I went and found the only person that we knew in the area that knew anything about uh, about magic and healing and medicines, and uh, uh, it was the local necromancer, um, which is how I got this tattoo. Uh, he always says that whenever he takes on a um, you know an apprentice, he always wants to make sure that. They have a tattoo, so we all know each other on site, which was very nice. But I, um, and it detects as magical, which is kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I was, you know, it's like neat. That means I must, I'm part of this magical group of people, and I've been learning a lot. But um, I got captured because apparently the people around here don't take very kindly to knowing much about magic. So here I am. I just, I'd like to just go home if I could. So, so, so this is like a, a, a necromancer but 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 you were but you were specializing in the like pre pre necromancer Yeah part. like I know he raises the dead <laughs> and like things like that but it's it you know there's a lot of undead people a lot of undead like, things around here and you know that's his his focus is on trying to keep the and he gets a bad rap I think he's a really good master. Sometimes compromises have to be made in the name of justice. <laughs> 
gets she gets it, you know. I mean, it's not as if we haven't smashed a few lizard heads ourselves to, you know, we, we you need poisons to make any poison. That's what he taught me. So I know we're not gonna we don't see eye to eye on that exactly, but I'm saving more people than I'm hurting, I think. Just scrape the lizards back. That's all I ask. Well, they they're very bitey. Very bitey. I'm working on a tamed lizard program. That does sound interesting. Mm -hmm. I've had a lot of time to think about it. I've been here for four months. <laughs> I have many plans. Speaking of not seeing eye to eye, I am three foot seven. <laughs> because I rolled the lowest you possibly could. My name is Snack. I'm a, I'm a Batiri, which is what they call the goblins on Chult. Um, presumably Snack doesn't know that there's other goblins. <laughs> it's just, I'm a Batiri. I'm in here, so let me, let me make this clear. They put me in here because they, they said I was a deserter. Because I was in the militia. I don't want to talk about it. But I was in the militia up top. And they said that I deserted, which I did not do. I was just making a couple stockpiles of some amount of their equipment. <coughs> I hadn't left the militia, just that some of their equipment had left. So you were still there. It was really the equipment. I was still there. They it thought was, I was going to leave, and so they called the, me a deserter and threw me in here. It was the equipment that was deserting, really. Yeah. They took, they took, they took all the equipment that they know about. They took m all my earrings. They took my helmet, which I'm really cranked off about. And then, yeah, they chuck me in here like they don't even care about all the hard work I put into their dumb militia. I was on board. <laughs> did you put in hard work to their militia? I did. I was the third Batiri ever in the in the the militia of whatever that place is called. They never told me what their village is called. The Simolo Plateau. The Simolo Plateau. That's where we all, right. all are. Yeah. Did Did I mention that I'm a cat? <laughs> I don't think I did. Oh yeah, right. A I cat that walks on two legs. I'm a tabaxi. Mm -hmm. So there are other tabaxi on the plateau, but they don't look anything like you. They're yeah. sort of sleek, and you are not so much. I I I'm sleek in my own way. Uh, Dense, but also densely packed, but very fluffy. Also very fluffy. Yeah. Um, and in fact, whenever I'm, whenever, uh, unfortunately, the place where I'm from is 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 nearer to the coastline, and it's not so uh, densely jungled. Mm. And and so um, I tend to pick up a lot of stuff as I walk. You know, when 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 we're out uh, doing work detail or whatever we are, when we're not in here or whenever there's there's walking through any kind of underbrush I tend to pick up a lot of stuff um, and, and yeah. yeah so so I, I spend um, uh, a reason uh, as as part of my meditative practice of uh, as 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 a monk um, I, I spend a certain amount of time every day um, cleaning my <laughs> cleaning myself and attempting to deburr myself. Well, cave life must have been great for you then. Yeah, it's 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 great. Well, dusty. Mm. But yes. Uh, and so we've so we've all been so we've all been here for 4 months. That's the minimum I set for you. And it sounds like it's what you've all chosen. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. So, um you're the only four non-humans in this cave. Uh, the humans of Chult are almost entirely nomadic because if you start setting up some sort of permanent settlement, it just gets trodden by the megafauna or overwhelmed by the venomous fungus creatures or, or whatnot. Um, but the plateau is very secure so it's one of the few permanent settlements, and so various tribes sometimes drop people off for a six-month sentence in the jail, doing work details and so forth to pay for it. So there's a variety of different humans, but um, this is definitely a human area. So you are the four non-humans in prison. So I think... We're in um, a clique. 
Yes. <laughs> well, Peg Leg doesn't like any of you because she's racist. She's the chief prisoner. I don't like Peg Leg. Does does Peg Leg actually have a Peg Leg? Or is yes, it just she has. A, it's just it's not just a weird nickname. <laughs> Uh, actually, I thought of it because some people have just started calling me Eye Patch, and I <laughs> I answer to it. Like if oh, someone wow. says, "Hey, Eye Patch," like, oh, of course I'm going to turn. <laughs> so that I thought of that, and I'm like, "Oh yeah, well she's she's peg leg then." <laughs> right. Fair enough. She's just embracing it. She's like, "They call me Peg Leg." What all of them? They sure do. <laughs> so there are lots of people. Lots of the prisoners here are not actually prisoners of the plateau. Like they like other other tribes will just drop off prisoners, right? Who haven't necessarily done anything against the plateau itself, right? But the plateau is happy to take it, and the, there's usually some sort of gift involved to the mayor of the plateau. Okay, interesting. So, uh, if there are no more backstories that anyone wants to tell, which I'm not trying to interrupt, I think I got mostly everything out. Yeah. All right. So. Once a day, the dumbwaiter is lowered to give you guys the food and so forth. Pegleg controls the dumbwaiter. She's got some people loyal to her. Um, she's the only... Why, why, why is, why is Pegleg in charge of the dumbwaiter? Um, she was in charge when you arrived four months ago, and she had like five or six people who were her muscle. Mm -hmm. And... Largely self-appointed. Presumably. Yeah. All right. She gets first pick everything on the dumbwaiter, probably, then. She does. She is How the only that? overweight prisoner. <laughs> Must be nice. Oh yeah. my god. So, um... I weigh 37 pounds. <laughs> That's why they call you Snack. Yeah. <laughs> on an island of megafauna, I'm the smallest possible bateria there could be. That's why they named me Snack. I don't... didn't get along with my tribe. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm alive still. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, on this particular day, the dumb waiter comes down, mm -hmm. and uh, it's not too unusual that there's a note stuck in there, and she pulls it out, and she reads it, and she looks at you for, and she reads it again, then she starts handing out food, and she's like, you four don't need any food today, you're going on work detail! Have we, have we been on work detail before? Uh, many times. Okay. Right. We, we, we need more food because yeah, we're on work we, detail. What does is, what is work detail usually entail? I would think that there's been uh, quite a variety of just sort of horrible jobs that they give to prisoners. Um, like mucking out latrines or like uh, going into the jungle to gather food or like that kind of thing, I'm assuming. That, well, you're liking all this, aren't I'm you? I'm liking all of I that. Should, yeah, okay. Have That's point of inspiration. Yeah, stop mm -hmm. suggesting mm -hmm. terrible yeah. things. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you, you get a point of inspiration mm, for that. Thank you. That's good. Yeah. Good for eating, me. Yeah. Eating delicious food. <laughs> <laughs> that does not earn you inspiration. No. But thanks for the suggestion. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I could work with that. Is that what you'd like your job to be today? <laughs> no. Poison <don't> tester? <laughs> Stop giving Dale ideas. <laughs> so, uh, as we saw in that beautiful introduction, which I just loved. It was so cool seeing all that art. Um, the dumbwaiter... I put that together on the plane. <laughs> yeah, I... Shadows Featherweight, by the way, for all the wonderful art. It was great. Yes. Nice work. Um, I was delighted to see that the dumbwaiter is way more dangerous than I'd been envisioning it. Mm. <laughs> so it's just like a plank. Some great big piece of, like, it's like a raft. You probably had railings in I, I was thinking, you know, oh. <laughs> would have been nice. Yeah. Featherweight has killed us all. Good job, yeah. Featherweight. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoyed it. So, but don't worry, because even without rails, it's going to be a relatively easy job to balance on your way up. Mm -hmm. So you load onto the dumbwaiter, <coughs> and you pull the little thing that signals that you're ready to go up, and... Um, for the very first dice roll of Dice Friends mm. ever, I need a dexterity save as the dumbwaiter lurches up. Super easy. I'm sure you'll all be fine. So that's just uh, roll and then add your dex bonus? Correct. Good start. Uh, 
14. I have a very good dex oh, bonus. Also 14. And uh, I got a 9. 5. 5 is enough. Oh, my God. <laughs> nice and easy. Oh. We're, we're good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Makes an awful creak, I bet. <laughs> oh, yeah. So as, as we're going out, so what, what kind of, uh, like, the, the, the rock wall... That the, or the rock of the the, the plateau, I guess. Mm -hmm. What what is it like? Like, are we? Is it climbable at all, or is it just like sheer, sh totally sheer? So, it is wider at the top. Sheer to me implies vertical, and I would think that it goes in slightly all the way Ooh, down, like a hoodoo almost. Um, there are occasional cracks. There are chunks where things have fallen away it's it's not as hard in a lot of places as rock there's a lot of clay but there are also rocks you could look in that probably wouldn't be dislodged if you were trying to climb mm. um, as you're getting toward the top you do see uh, a note that has been wedged into some cracks a note has been wedged into like just before you get to the top as the dumbwaiters going past if you want to you could try to lean out of the dumbwaiter and grab the note. Do you think I could reach it? No, I don't think that is an option that is available to snack. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, I... You could have someone hold you out over the <laughs> side of the dumbwaiter. I'm dexterous enough to do it. Uh, I, I'll, I'll try. I'll make a grab for it. Okay. Uh, this is just another dex check, or yeah, is it... this is a dex check. Okay. Uh, that is a 16. 16 is enough. Have a note. I got a note! Hey. Um, I know we're not supposed to uh, be nice to the podcast listeners, but you want to read it out loud anyway? <laughs> we don't have to actively <laughs> troll them. <laughs> yeah, everything looks I, so I, just, I just want the, the note to be like, God, this overlay is gorgeous. Oh my god, I'm about to fall down! <laughs> <laughs> ah! And it just sort of trails off. Why did I take the time to write this now? Uh, all right. Prisoners. That's us. Do not trust the mayor. I have a job offer for you, which will, I will explain when it is time to get cursed. Uh, that is signed, Maga, in brackets, the sage. Is that I... the guy you were talking to? Is that... No. That's, no. No. <clears throat> I need to get that note back so I can actually have the name of the necromancer again because you know, I'm a student. I should know his name. Time to get cursed? Yeah. Uh, but you have done work parties before. Mm -hmm. If you are leaving the immediate village, like if you're going over the bridge, they give you a curse stone. The moment you take a curse stone out of the basket, you are cursed until the curse stone is put back into the basket. The curse starts out super mild. I'm sure, you know, it's probably almost unnoticeable mm. at first. But if you keep it for a long time, things get bad. Um, does anybody have any stories about times they had a cursed stone and bad things happened? Oh man, I got a rash all over my legs and it was so itchy. It was the worst. The worst curse. Well, I mean, it's, uh, it's starting out mild, right? <laughs> uh, but like, what's this stopping, what's stopping us from just throwing the cursed stone away? Because the th there's guards when we're You don't like return it. it. It has to go like into the basket. I'm that it's say. not that it, the curse doesn't lift. Okay. Right. Just checking. <laughs> you could try it though. Maybe they were lying to you when they said that. Mm. You know how big Bateria ears are. Did you know, your ears get bigger? You no, know, no. You know how much hair you can get <laughs> growing in your ears. I wasn't actually prepared to find out, mm. to be honest. But it started strong. Wow. Yeah. Sounds mild. It's like, oh, okay, you got hairy ears, whatever. No, this is this was another level. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, have, I have hairy ears all the time. <laughs> I have hairy, yeah, I, hairy everything. I, I know. Everything. I hadn't thought of hairy ears. Ha have a point of inspiration. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Just poof. <laughs> you think you guys have more to talk about, except you can't hear each other. Mm. I bet it's warm in the winter, though. Well, I don't, I don't lick my ear hair. At mm -hmm. least I didn't at the time. I got rid of it once I once the cursed. Yeah, the, last time I was cursed, it was just, just 
unable to stop getting static electricity just static electricity mm -hmm. so i'll just all my hair was sticking straight out and and every time i touched anything it was like <laughs> yeah you think it looks fluffy now mm -hmm. it was <laughs> it was the worst my skin Great. started to glow like really really bright it made it hard to sleep that's messed up because my because my eyelids would be very bright so when i would close my eyes to sleep it was like oh god that sounds awful yeah like, you, you know I appreciate the creativity yeah. in the curses. Mm -hmm. Where did they get these stones? Maybe, Who are you asking? Maybe, maybe the sage. I'm sort of knows. thinking aloud. Maybe yeah. the sage knows. Where do they? Yeah. Okay. So, but we we have we, but we have context for what mm -hmm. that means. Yes. When it's yes. Like cursed. Yeah. So it's mm. well, what was it? It was. Do not trust the mayor. Yeah. I have a job offer for you, which I will explain when it is time to get cursed. I mean. Interesting. I wasn't planning on trusting the the mayor, really. <laughs> right, yeah. Do we know? And we know we would know who the mayor is. Yes. Or at least we've probably encountered them once or twice. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what What do we know about the mayor? Like, what What so, do we I'm not, without Without asking anybody, what do we already know about right. the mayor? Right. Uh, so he is the the chief human of the area. He he has a pretty strong rivalry with the sage. They are the two. Um, most important people. It's it's hard to even guess who the third most important is. Maybe the carpenter in a Stone Age village or the militia, militia chief. But um, between the sage and the mayor, they make most of the laws. They are the people who run the place. Mm. Um, for example, four months ago, the mayor's sister got married to a local uh, chief's son. And that was a huge deal various nomadic groups came from all over. Yeah, we heard. Um, yeah. It was real loud party up top. Mm. It was uh, the day after that party when uh, you got franked. Hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So, you have the note. You're getting toward the top. Um, there's a big pulley system. There are three kind of lumbering armored um, they, they look like uh, giant bugs, but they're just sort of armored dinosaur type things. Um, you know that if one of them ever tried to go over the suspension bridge, it probably wouldn't hold them. They're just all scales. Wow. Right, because the only way up to the plateau is that one suspension bridge. Right. Down, okay, yeah. That we also saw on the, mm, yeah. the lovely featherweight drawings. Yeah. Um, which is why the plateau can be a permanent settlement. Mm, right. Because if um, something goes wrong and the dinosaurs are trying to cross it, there's a security system. You can release your end of the bridge and there are these big coils of rope and the suspension bridge just kind of falls and all the dinosaurs go into the, the crevice and then you pull the ropes back up and you have a suspension bridge again. Nice. Very clever for a Stone Age society. Well, because they have interactions yeah. with the so-called civilized people of Faerun. Right. Um, they can go get educated other places if they want to. They just don't have their own metallurgy. Right. Right. Because there's a big port town like a week from here? Port Nyanzaru yeah. is um, off to the north. Uh, the bridge goes to the south because that's where the hill is that you right. can make a bridge to. Um, it takes the group of heroes that makes the journey a week or two either direction. Ugh. All right. Interesting. Hmm. So you get to the top of the dumbwaiter. Mm -hmm. and there are some guards there waiting for you. The, right. You know the drill. You've done work groups before. They're going right. to take you to whoever's giving you the job. And in fact, in this case, they're taking you to see the mayor. Mm -hmm. Have we worked for the mayor before? Um. The mayor does do work details on occasion, but often it's something lesser. Like if you're cleaning out the latrines, I don't think the mayor would feel the need to be involved. Right. I, I feel like you can tell me whether you've worked for the mayor before. I think this should be new. Okay. That seems fine, yeah. Yeah, I don't <coughs> think I have. All right. Yeah. Like, what does the mayor want with us? So. Specifically asked for us to. Yeah, that's weird. <coughs> So you're brought in to see the mayor. Yeah. Um, there are a couple of guards still hanging out. And the mayor's not looking so good. His eyes are kind of bloodshot and his skin is looking a little bit on the pale side. 
and uh, he says, uh, so, um, you're here because we're having a big party. My sister's coming to town and I need some specific things for the party. But when you get back from uh, your work detail, gathering nuts and berries, I would like an answer to my proposition. Um, I'm going to need some people to be going to Port Nyanzaru, which is a bit of a hike. Now, I can suspend your sentence if you're willing to go do this, and assuming you're successful in bringing me back the medical supplies that I need, I can have it uh, ended entirely. Obviously, you should take some time to think about this. You're going out on your work detail first, but when you get back, we should have a conversation. You should think about it. You might have questions. I'm in. Mm -hmm. Well, that works too. Uh, <coughs> can I, uh, I didn't quite know, like I have the, using like the, I guess like medicine skill, mm -hmm. can I, not, not I actually examining him, but can I take a, guess at what might be going on with the with the mayor in terms of what how we, how he's sick yes please make a roll 18 18 wow. so whatever this is it's really weird it's not something you've seen before and you've seen a lot of stuff okay it uh yeah he's wasting away somehow in an unusual way okay something new all right, what's, what's the work? Let's get this over with. Let's All right, go. so. I get in the road. Um, I need you to just go get some nuts and berries All right. on the other side of the suspension bridge. Mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, first, you should go talk to um, the poison master and the carpenter, and they'll get you some gear. All right. Um, and then once you've got all your gear, um, you can uh, get cursed and then head over the bridge. Great. I'm Sounds on good. It. Yeah. Yay. All right. All right. Here's your scavenger list. Um, are you in charge? Sure. I'm the tallest. <laughs> All right. I feel like he handed it directly over your head. Okay. Yeah. Sounds All right. good. All right, guys. We need en enough sweet white halna berries for a large dessert. Now, do you mean like a small portion of a large dessert or a large dessert served family style? So, uh, when my sister and her uh, leader uh, family come in, um, I want there to be a great big baked dessert that they can all try. All right. Uh, at least seven white Necronoff berries. Honey. 12 large marabo tree leaves. Bracket, keep them pretty. Ah, for presentation. Yeah, they're like about this big. I want them to be like, we could set them out nicely over the chairs or we could, yes, presentation. My mother was always very keen on presentation. 42 Hanoba nuts. One live din hinzim fly. Three drops of venom from a gorbaga spider yeah. or its entire head. Oh, that seems easier. But could we not bring the spider back in a cage? I think that would be more humane. Uh, it would be difficult to maneuver that over the bridge, but yes, if you can figure out some way to get the entire spider over the bridge, do by all means. Do I know how big one of those spiders is? Uh, do you have a nature skill? No, I just mean... Sure, like go ahead and make like a roll. living around here? Like, because Mora would not, right? How big are these spiders, Graham? I don't know. <laughs> I'm one. the worst. I rolled a one. I'm the worst bateria ever. Though I think maybe I might know. You might. Because if I'm working with spiders and venom and whatnot, sounds like a thing I might understand. That's a nine. So, you've certainly never heard of one as small as you. Mm -hmm. I have How no idea what I'm talking about. Bigger than me. And I'm four foot six, two hundred pounds. Okay, I'm not doing that one. Yeah. I've worked with these things before, like I've seen them. So. I'll find the, the honey or something. Yeah, I've never actually had to milk one for venom, but... What, seven intact mosquitoes. Don't have to be alive, but can't have any blood. I'm seeing some problems with some of these things on this list. One cubic inch of spider web, 
One live spotted Malfanda lizard that has never tasted red simolo fern. That's the kind of lizard that you've been liberating. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm well aware of that. Thank you. <laughs> and one T-Rex eyeball bracket fresh. Question. Yes. Can we just bring back the T-Rex? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Um, that was a good question. Um, now it's time for your equipment. So uh, in the next room is the carpenter and the poison master. And one of the guards says, uh, sir, the carpenter is uh, not here. Well, I need the carpenter here. No, he said he's not coming. Well, I'm the mayor. Well, he's busy. Uh, the chief of the militia is here. Ah, well, uh, I'll deal with him later. So um, <laughs> go into the next room where the chief of the militia and the poison master will give you your gear, and then it's off to the sage for cursing. Good luck. Great. It's a little out of the ordinary. They eat weird food here in Schultz. We've had to eat some of that weird food. I'm... I have a lot of worry. I felt like I was really rude to you in that encounter. I'm sorry, Graham. What? So, <laughs> that was fine. Uh, uh, when, 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 when is this party? Tomorrow. This is your gear. Ooh. I think oh, these are all the... the oh, thank things. you. Oh, I feel like okay. someone more agile should be in charge of getting that T-Rex eyeball. Mm. This gear sucks. I don't suppose T-Rex eyeball mm. is the name of... Is, is like a colloquial name for some kind of plant, is yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> to the... We're getting this from the... From the... And the, the militia? And the poison master, yes. Oh, now you're okay with me having gear. <laughs> well, I was always okay with you having gear when you were doing your job. I was still doing my job. You left and you went in some big jungle thing. You were gone for days. Yeah, when I came back, I was doing my job. Y you're not allowed to just leave for days. That was never part of the guidebook. Why do I work with Batiri? You can't just leave your job. You were assigned to the bridge. That doesn't mean you walk across the bridge. That means you stay at the bridge on alert. <laughs> uh, is this, we have three arrows? Is that what the three little? Well, y yes. I mean, you're only with three convicts. Why would you need more than three arrows? Ah. Uh. Yeah, that stands to reason. Would you have to get a T-Rex eyeball? Would have been that good at this? I've never really heard of anyone taking down a T-Rex with a bow and arrow. So you'll have to get creative. Maybe, maybe that's because they only have three arrows. Well, um, good luck. Ah. Yes. This is this is a meta question. Oh yeah, okay. This is this normal for a work detail? This seems like a really insane list. This you've never seen anything like this. This is this is nuts. I guess the answer to your question is no. You asked me a yes or no question. Yeah. The answer is no. Okay. How do they want all this stuff for a feast? Like I get the berries and the honey and stuff like that, but what do they need the spider web and the lizard and the T Rex eyeball for? Who eats this stuff? Do you guys eat this stuff? No, I've never been served any of this stuff. Is this, no. this isn't part of some magic-y thingy magic -y, is it? It stands to reason that, uh, you know what, that's not a bad idea. I can roll Arcana on this. Please do. Let's see if this actually seems like ingredients for some sort of mischief. I rolled 17 plus, I rolled 18. Uh, so the answer is yes. Some of these things do sound like they're spell components. Mm. Um, excuse me, Militia Head, uh, can I have some more arrows, please? Because these are like very complicated things, and uh, I feel like the the uh, the Gorbanga sp Gorbaga spider might might we have to get three drops of venom or its entire head. So. Like, I feel like we haven't been given enough supplies. Can I persuade you to give me more supplies? Uh, you can try. Excellent. I have a, I have a plus five to persuasion rules. Mm -hmm. I, I, I also want to try something, but you. 
All right, I have a 21. Wow. So persuasive. I'm very persuasive. I have a list of points prepared, and I'll read you from all of my notes. <laughs> so, um, I didn't actually bring any extra arrows with me, but you have convinced me that you need more arrows. Um, Snack, give me your arrows. <laughs> Can I use sleight of hand to try and hide one of my arrows? Yes. 23. Yeah, I think you've hidden one of your arrows. Are all I your arrows the same? I only got two. Yeah, they're just... Uh, oh. Uh, no, I'm, a, I'm hiding one of the not crooked arrows. Okay. <laughs> I only got two and one of them's crooked. Well, give them to me. Here you are. Yay, thank you. Uh, when you need information on the crooked arrow, Graham has it. Okay. <laughs> and you said you wanted to try something? Well, that was what I wanted to try. Oh, okay. Before, I was going to try and hide one and be like, yo, I only got two arrows. Oh, okay. But apparently he doesn't have any extra arrows, so <laughs> Snack rethought that plan. Hmm. All right, I think it's time for you to go get cursed. All Best right. Best part of my day. It's like a cup of coffee, just... Are they... <laughs> Uh, are we being escorted to the... So you have two guards who are with you. They are uh, not the um, militia master and the poison master. Right. Um, but the two guards are just sort of walking everywhere with you at this point. Right. Was that your question? Yeah. Just that okay. we are being escorted. Yes. They, they, they didn't just arm us and then... Turn us loose in the village. Trust that we would find our way to the bridge. Right. Darn. <laughs> <laughs> they think of everything here. <laughs> I like to think I'm persuasive in the way that you just want me to stop talking, not in like that I'm charming. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably all the same game mechanic. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so you head toward uh, the sage. Um, how many of you have met the sage? I don't think I've met the sage. I would don't don't know what reason I would have had to meet meet the sage. Okay. Yeah, I probably haven't either, but maybe. Maybe a Bontan. Well, maybe, actually, I lived here for a while. Yeah, though. you, you yeah. should. Have the sage. You just, guys should, but I we just should. Got, I just her. got here, so I don't yeah. know. I, yeah, I, you I just know. got here. You were arrested. You were arrested. She took a bit of a special interest, I think, when she met me. I was like, oh, you have that tattoo. Yeah, I guess I. Uh, I guess I might have met the sage once. Yeah, yeah. She accused you of arcane spellcasting, yeah. which is illegal for anybody but her yeah. on the plateau. Yeah, and it's like so. I it's like she's know. running a racket. La di da. So that's actually why you were in jail. You were imprisoned for arcane spellcasting. Yeah. Oh, cleric. Yes. Uh, so you head toward the sage, um, and she's waiting outside for you. And she's like coughing a lot as you're walking up. And her assistant is standing nearby looking nervous. Mm -hmm. So as you approach, you see that she's looking very pale and she has quite bloodshot eyes. Is she looking bad in the same way the mayor was looking bad? So, what kind of skill do you have um, that would make me say anything other than sure? Uh, probably none. Okay. Well, I have a plus five sure. to investigation. I don't know. Well, I mean, can, can I, since I didn't look at the mayor, I guess I could take a look at her as well. What harm? Uh, 12. Yeah, it's certainly similar symptoms. Actually, could I? You may. I would love to. How do we do here? That was either a 4 or 14. I got to roll again. What is it? 13. 13 plus 3, 16. So, this, something weird is going on mm -hmm. with the sage. This is not a normal medical thing. You know, what is it with these people? Yeah, why are, why are especially the two highest, most important people uh, having this similar problem? Right. It's something that's not a normal thing, the way people get sick. Right. Okay. Um, you... Uh, had heard that both of them have been raised from the dead, in case that means mm. any sort of data point. Okay. Um, in the mayor's case, it was because Pegleg was trying to uh, steal a whole bunch of poison, and she spilled some, and when um, the resulting death of the mayor was resolved, he swore that she would be in prison forever. Ah. You haven't heard the story about no. the sage's death. Okay. So,
So mm. she's coughing a whole bunch. Um, I think I'll spare the people listening to my microphone all of those coughs. Mm -hmm. But uh, we, we can infer. Yes. Yeah. She wheezes a bit, which I could probably do. So I hope you got my notes. Um, I I need a group of people to uh, make a run to Port Yanzaru. I know it's evil. And you should hate Port Yanzaru because it's affiliated with Faerun, which is a place of evil. I mean no disrespect, dear. But yeah, um, I'm in jail. I've been very disrespected. <laughs> I mutter under my breath. <laughs> and you sort of look at her and you're like, wait a minute, that scarf she's wearing, that was the hem of my mom's cloak. <laughs> she's like cut it off the bottom of the cloak and made it into a scarf. Oh, God. Uh, do you want to tell the audience about the cloak? Okay, so I'm supposed to be on exchange to where? Waterdeep. Waterdeep. Water I'm supposed to be on exchange to Waterdeep, and right. my mom to see to see my second cousins, and then my mom because she wanted to make a good impression because appearance is very important. Sent me with the heirloom cloak that had been passed down by for many generations, and I know I don't know anything about it, but I know it's very expensive. <laughs> And I tried not to take it because I knew I was coming here, but my mom insisted. What am I going to do with a fur trim cloak and chult anyhow? But oh my god, mom. Anyhow. Uh, how old are you again? I'm 60. Right. Which in dwarf years is like 16. Uh, elf, 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 elf years is like 16. So I'm like super young. And then anyhow, when I get here and then I liberate the lizards, and I'm not wearing the cloak because I'm not stupid, but that's in my bag. And when they take my bag, they take the cloak, and I'm like, I'm so dead. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get out of prison because I'm very smart, and I'm on the side of justice. But that cloak is a real problem! And now it's been... I am... There's magic, and I can put it back together. I just need to get that cloak off that lady's neck. I just need to get that scarf off that lady's neck. She's going to die soon, probably. She looks real bad. She's not going to be using it. Let's do this. <laughs> I can only give you one point of inspiration. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so, um, she's wheezing a bunch, and she's like, think about it, and goes back inside. Wait, 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 the, wait, that, wait. Wait, I want to talk to her. Oh, <laughs> damn it. And the assistant is there. I'm sure she'll be better soon, so um, I'm just going to help you out and curse you for her so that you can get back quickly. Is that good? Actually, you know what would help me immensely return with this is the little like strip of fabric that she had around her neck is very important to me and I would find it extremely motivating if I could take that with me into the jungle. It also has magical elf properties like they have in Faerun because we're from a horrible cursed continent that's so terrible and it would be extremely helpful if I could just get that back. She said it was helping her not die. It's important that my boss doesn't die. I mean, this will also help her not die in a roundabout kind of way. I can ask her. That would be just peachy if you could. Okay, I'll do that while you're out getting your nuts and berries. Is that good? That's fine, yes. Okay, so I'm going to curse you now, okay? <sighs> Something benign this time. So how does the cursing work? The cursing works. You reach into this basket and you pull out a curse rock. Oh. So I'll just lean over a lot. Is there... Both the sage and the mayor want us to yeah. go to Nyanzaru ultimately. Is there some well, way... we just go to Nyanzaru and then the... don't come back. What are the mechanics of, of how, physically, how yeah. this... Before I look at this, what are the yes. mechanics of physically how this works? The, it's a rock. Okay. And you're going to have a physical description there. Um, okay. And y what you've been told yeah. is that until you put that rock back in this, or until someone puts that rock right. back into this basket, you are cursed. Right now, you are already cursed. Right. Um, I have no new mechanics to give you at this time. Is the, do we just intuit what's on this, or is this actually written on the rocks in some way? Uh, so that's gonna give you a physical description of the rock, right. and unless you got the dud, it's also gonna give you a curse code. Okay. So, if there's ever a thing like on one of your handouts or I say, hey, your curse activates, right. I need you to give me the curse code so I can look up what's going on. Okay. Is there some way that I can, with sleight of hand, look like I'm taking a rock and immediately put it back? That would be really tough, but I don't want to say no. 
Um, I want to give it a shot. Yeah, all right. go for it. Let's do this on the let's do this on the special the special Ooh. camera because if I nail this, I'm gonna be really excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> How did you do, Graham? He rolled a one. Oh, did you? <laughs> I like fumble it and drop it and hit myself in the nose. <laughs> I'm like, ah, ow, oh, oh. I was gonna say, oh, no, I think it activates stay. the curse. Oh. What's your curse code? Why don't you tell us what's on there? Oh. Is it the dud? If it's the dud. It's a dark gray rock with a faint crack in it, though it's quite difficult to see. An oval mark has been painted in green on an uncracked part of the rock. Curse code four. Curse Ow, code no. four. <laughs> you got the nose hurting curse? I just... No! I, sh shut up, Daddy. <laughs> okay, you're... That, that actually works out well. Ugh. I'm just going to say that your nose bleeds a lot. Ow! God. Um... Oh. So you have your curse I rock? I have my curse rock. Have a curse? I know better than the... God, that would, I was, have, that I was, would have been great. Yeah. I was contemplating uh, doing, the, do, doing the same move, but I think now probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> do you also have sleight of hand? Yeah, I do, yeah. Uh, don't yeah I mean, so, I don't, I, so do I. Like, it's just the dexterity. Anybody can try it. Yeah, but I, 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 have, I have really good dex. Yeah. yeah, so do I. Let me yeah. try it. In a way, Graham, like, it was great. I'm going to try it. Yeah. You're going to try putting the rock... I'm going to try the... like, sneaking it back in while they're not four, looking. Just... All right. While everybody's distracted by his bloody nose. Sure. Because it's just like spurting blood everywhere, right? Oh. Yeah. Excellent. Ah. It's a little three foot seven goblin running circles. Oh, oh, 18 plus five for sleight of hand, 23. 23. All right, well... I'm going to roll to see that, but it's going to be tough for me to match a 23. That's a 17. 17. Oh. I mean, no, he does not have plus six. Thank you. So, you put yours back in the basket. Dang it. I mean, I guess I will try <laughs> as <laughs> well. <laughs> so much blood. Sure. sure, I'll try as well. I'm not that good but uh, before that happens okay um I'm not even that big how much blood do i have <laughs> uh what was your curse code again graham four four zero four all right um yeah i think um once you cheat the curse system your uh the fingernails that you're using on your hand to pull to keep your nose closed uh -huh. your fingernails start to bleed What's your curse code? Zero nine. Ah. Zero nine. Oh. oh no. Oh, it's one of these campaigns. <laughs> this is, can I talk to the assistant? This, yes? can I draw a different, this is gonna make all the things we're supposed to be doing really difficult. Well, we, that's gonna... what curses do. Curses aren't supposed to help. I should explain. You see, a <laughs> curse actually is a thing that happens to you supernaturally I understand through the necromancy. Well, I don't know. You're way down there and you're getting blood everywhere and you seem to think it's bad. Do you want us to collect this stuff or not? How I don't are care. We supposed That's the mayor's thing. Uh, I don't like them. <laughs> well, there are How factions. are we supposed to help the sage if we can't come back? You should come back and help the sage. Can I try and intimidate this guy? Y yes. <laughs> okay. But I, I have, have to resolve this thing first. Yeah, do that. <laughs> but I have intimidation. Zero nine. Because the, Zero thing, nine. the thing about Thank Snack you. is he's very small, but he's real scary when he wants to be. Also, he's like covered in blood right now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he's just a screaming blood-covered goblin. He's got blood coming out of his nose and his right thumb and index finger. Nailed. You have a very bad ringing in your ears. Sounds about right. Well... <laughs> Ma. <laughs> Ma. <laughs> like we're not talking crippling we're just talking like yeah. very irritating yeah just yeah. like a you guys hear that kind of thing <laughs> I had this one before <laughs> alright so um, you haven't drawn your rock yet you've drawn yours and put it back and made theirs worse oh no <laughs> and you want to try intimidating him before he um, gives Dandy his rock. Is is that correct? Yeah, I can't have this much stuff going on. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a, I've got enough to worry about. Can I give it a shot? Yeah, yeah. All right. 
seven. <laughs> your blood covered, but maybe not that intimidating. It's not rolling very well. Because he knows it's your blood, so it's yeah. less intimidating. I've rolled one twice already. <laughs> yeah. Like less than an hour get into that the out first, of it. first Get that session. out of the way early in the campaign. Yeah, it's, no fine. it's fine. It's fine. You know, you had you have inspiration. You could have rolled that twice. Oh, that's how inspiration works. You, oh, sorry. Inspiration is a thing you have or you don't have. While you have inspiration, at any time you can spend that point of inspiration to have advantage on something. Ah, good. Apologies for not explaining the no, game. No, I, I just I just forgot. It's been a right. while since I've actually like played Five E. Uh, I would like to do that. Okay, we well, technically you can't do it afterward. No. Okay, but that's cool. Um, because you forgot the rules. If you wanna, we can just say. Well, wouldn't I just roll a second one and then if it's greater than that, is it? And if it's less than. Y yes, stage. but normally when you have inspiration, you have to, or when you have advantage, you have to have that before you roll your first die. You can't like roll one and then see if oh, it's and then bad. Decide if of course, roll yeah, advantage. no, no, it's okay. Like I, I feel it's okay for each person to have like one mulligan. Oh. If if it's like, oh, I got that wrong, uh, I actually hit on a seventeen, not a fourteen. Like I said, mm -hmm. if you want to use your mulligan, go ahead. I'll go for it, Graham. Is it worth it? That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> Like, I can't just be bleeding all the time. Do we know, like, that... Will the curses sort of come come and go? The curses are it's... very chaotic. So, but it's like, once it's activated, it's not like he's going to bleed forever. The, the, the curses, curses are very chaotic. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. I'm sure, I'm going to... It's so hard to read your dice, speed. Here, do you want to use this instead? Sure. Yeah. All right, let's do this on the camera. Well, that, there's the four I rolled the first time. Okay. Uh, but this is a 19. Well. Okay. So that's a 22 to intimidate this poor man. <laughs> so he he screams and he's like, ah, 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 give me a rock. Give me a rock. Shit. Give me a rock. <laughs> <laughs> give me a roll. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I haven't actually taken this one. I guess not. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Uh, <clears throat> oh no, it's a nine! <laughs> I also have a nine. So, and, and you're, we've established that your uh, modifier is higher than mine, I it's, think. It's a plus three on dexterity that, that's checks, the, I think. That's the modified. Oh, yeah. It's a nine, yeah, I got a, yeah, nine with a modifier. So, nine is your modified number. Is my modified number? Okay, so he sees that you're not putting a rock back in. He's like, you, "It's it's actually better if you give me a rock. I'll go get the sage, but you should give me a rock when we come back out." Okay. And he runs in. I find any fucking pebble on the ground. Sure. <laughs> <Put it back. laughs> So, grab, yes. grab one off of the sure. workbench. I feel like... Should I give you this back? Yeah, you probably should, because you never took it. <laughs> you should write a new curse rock cert that's just a rock. Yeah. Describe the rock, and then we'll set it in there. So now there's two duds in there. A small, gray stone. Now, you're going to be able to feel that, so if you don't have any objection... If you take more curse rocks today, I will be pulling them for you yeah, because yeah, it, it would be fair. difficult not to metagame feeling no, for the fair. torn piece of paper. Fair Absolutely. Enough. <laughs> okay, it's a small. So I grab a small gray stone and then I look around and I look at Snack and just like run a finger like through all of the blood on him and just like put a smear of it across the rock. <laughs> Gross. Ah. So one of the guards notices you doing this and gets the giggles. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right. Those Don't mock my elvish ways! <laughs> They're still guards. So. Oh, I'm so no. glad there's factions. This is great. Oh, no. Okay. okay. Oh, no. So the sage comes out. And she's like, Bebo says you don't want to take the curse rocks. Um. Well. So you can put your curse rock in. Clink. Um. And I'll arrange for you to go back down, and I'll get Pegleg up here to do the list. Okay, uh, no, hey. Fine. 
Uh, it's just the curses are going to make collecting all this stuff really difficult. Well, yes. And I wish I could tell you you didn't have to be cursed. But I'm not going to. Whose could, could, policy is it? Well, could, could, it's kind of a joint policy, yes. Can we get like a delay on the curse so that we can go and do the stuff before he starts bleeding from every orifice? So... I'm a little bit unclear as to why his curse activated so quickly. Um, you know, the bleeding has is now just normal bleeding. There's nothing supernatural about it, so okay. your nosebleed will stop in a, okay. a normal amount of time. I think he's just... I think our friend was just clumsy and hit himself in the nose with the rock. Oh! And it just activated out of nowhere. Bebo, I think you fully misunderstood what was happening. I and he's like, I'm sorry! All right, so I'm just going to uh, give you your curse rocks now. Or, or do you want to go back okay. down? No, we'll, no. Take, the, we'll no. take the rocks. We'll take the right. rocks. So, uh, here you are. And here you are. And here you are. And here you are. Ah. Okay. 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 So, um, should we describe our rocks? Sure. All right. I have a small gray stone. I have uh, a dark gray rock with a faint crack in it, though it's quite difficult to see. An oval mark has been painted in green on an uncracked part of the rock. Oh, that one sucks. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> Not good. I have a dark gray stone that, with an orange spiral counterclockwise outward from the center, painted on one side. Right. I have a dark gray stone that looks ordinary. Ah! Does it have a curse code? Yes. Oh. <laughs> it does have a curse code. Oh, you're going to hate that one. It's ordinary. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, it's probably fine. It, it's probably the dud, even though it has a curse code. Yeah. That Mine curse... has... <laughs> my blood on it. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in my pocket, and away we go. <laughs> <laughs> What's your luck stat like? <laughs> no such thing. Uh, I feel like a in actuality it's quite high. It kind of has to be for him to be alive. Yeah, so, yeah. Exactly. Statistically. Should I be looking for a spot for a break or are we just pushing through the whole thing? I think we're just going to Let's just keep going. Nice. Cool. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm going right. to turn that into such a motley. <laughs> We've got this. We've got this list. That's a hell of hell of a shopping list. So you're escorted to the bridge, right? And there's a big boulder, and there's um, a woman. All her stuff is purple, which is the sign that it's the militia. Mm -hmm. um, this is a post you've done in the past. Mm -hmm. She's oh, leaning good. against the boulder, and she's got a big broad-brimmed hat, and she's smoking a pipe. She's like, "Hey," she's eating some snacks. Hey. Yeah, uh, her name's Sammy. You've met her before. Hey, Sammy. She's like, yes, please, thank you. <laughs> <sighs> and then nice. she just leans back against the boulder. Is she the? So she's the uh, the bridge guard at the yeah. moment. I guess I should describe what I what what I'm wearing now. Now that we have all this gear. Are you trying to stop off somewhere in the village for anything else, as the only person whose background gave him extra stuff in the village? Yeah, but wouldn't... like, there's guards with us. Uh-huh. I'm not saying it would be easy. Mm. I'm asking if you're gonna try. You guys have tried other stuff that was maybe <laughs> unwise. Ah! Yeah. And it was... What do I have... Oh, what do I have secreted in this village? S secreted. Not secreted. No, that, that was that's about the a bunch of blood. Yeah, I definitely. I've done plenty of secreting <laughs> mm -hmm. for one day. Uh, where, where is my cash in the village? Well, we never just, really defined yeah, just says that. Just in the village. Yeah, you you hit it. You have one place somewhere in the village where you hit a bunch of stuff, yeah. and you have one place a couple days out into the jungle where you hit a bunch of stuff. It's and all stolen. It's only another one that, that they purple. found. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I don't know if you need any of it now that you have stuff. I just wanted to check before you cross the bridge. Well, my, I, I, I think, well, there's no armor, is there? No, there is not. Yeah. My 
concern is that I don't know how I would uh, make that not blaringly obvious that suddenly I have armor. Yeah, yeah armor, armor is pretty hard to conceal. Yeah, so is a longbow. Mm. It's well with it being long and all. Yeah, <laughs> the longbow is much taller than you. Yeah. Much like the maul they just gave you. Yeah. It's, it's, the, the weapon is larger than you are. Yeah, I might need some of those arrows, being as I actually have, I'm proficient in archery. Hmm. Um, so I have other stuff I want to do. This is one of the guards. Yeah. Like, can you just cross the bridge so we can, you know, stop following you around? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody here seems really laid back, despite the fact that we're in prison. I, I think that's what happens when you're in, you're, you're, you're the guard in a place that nobody can get to. Do they yeah. also smoke those ferns? Um, it's not the fern that she's smoking. Mm. If uh, Was that your question? Yeah, I was, okay. like, I was like, if the ferns only grow here, everyone seems a little stoned. I'm curious <laughs> if maybe there, there's just some sort of spe specific it, plant. As we've been going through the village, uh, have we seen anybody else that looks sick like the... Um, the mayor and the sage? No. Okay. And to the best of your knowledge, those are the only two people who have been raised from the dead on right. the plateau. Because they're because that would have been quite a uh, a very the, big deal. Yeah. A big deal because presumably there's no they would have had to go to the town and stuff. Like there's nobody in the area that could do that. Right. Uh, apparently the necromancer, the necromancer yeah. can do something like that, but they were not interested in going to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For no good reason, he seems very nice. No, exactly. He's a very he was very kind to me. Where, where is the necromancer in, in relation to? The... Uh, you cross the bridge, and he's what about a day away? <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, know how the, to go I find know him. I know the way. Yeah, so you can. Is, yeah, within about a day, we could get there. Hmm. It's not like I went walking around a lot after, like while I was training with him, right? Like it's, they basically pounced upon me while I was out. It's like, you know, it's not like. I'm a, I was a week away from here or something like that. So. so the guards are kind of sad that you're still hanging around. It <laughs> yeah, starts to I'm, rain. I'm still trying to figure out a way that I can get this stuff, and I don't think there is a way. So, uh, I, No, I don't try. Okay. All right. uh, yeah, I'm gonna it still starts to rain. <laughs> well, I would cross the bridge in the rain then. Mm -hmm. I'm going to head out. All right. Yeah. yeah no, I mean, we, yeah, we're with you. Yeah, we'll head out. So if you're walking slowly and carefully, and there's a decent distance between you, you don't have to roll. You... Um, Going across the rope bridge. We yeah. crossed this bridge yeah. before. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. You hold on to the hand rope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you How walk across the bridge. Four foot six. Oh, okay. Jeez. Yeah, sorry. You got almost a foot on me. Yeah. I don't think, okay, I don't think we have any particular reason to hurry right now. In fact, we have good reason to not hurry because yeah. it annoys them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we amble our way across the bridge slowly <laughs> and carefully, well spaced out. Just like the guard. <laughs> semi. Yeah, semi. Yeah. Um, all right, so I guess we've got this list. This shopping list. Yeah, this shopping this... list sucks. Uh, I recommend that we leave the, like, the berries and the honey and the leaves and the things that don't try to kill us for the end. Wait. So they don't get crushed. We're not seriously going to try and do all that, are we? Well, I mean, like, do you want to return Read your the bottom student? one again? One T Rex eyeball bracket fresh. Yeah. Now what? Do, now what is their cut hold, Their threshold for fresh? Because I think anything less than a week old is fresh. Cool. How do you propose we get even that? Justice finds a way. Also, I want like. Have you ever look, seen a T Rex? Look, Maybe we we'll, find one that's we'll go. Dying. We'll go look the, uh, for the other stuff. And if we come across a T Rex that is looking rather poorly. We pounce. And then maybe we we'll, hurry we'll, see, along. we'll see what we can do. Oh. That's right. Mr. Fuzzy Pants has a good point here. I do have a question, actually, is based on the on the poison. Because it's like a creature hit by the poisoned weapon. Because we, I believe we are all carrying some level poison. Yeah. Yes, yeah. the bad stuff. Yeah, the bad stuff. Yeah. Um, so they take poison damage. Does that actually get, does that, that poison their monster parts? Like if we take an eyeball out of a T-Rex after we've poisoned it, would it be a poisoned eyeball? Is that something you would know? I would hope that I would know something about it, maybe because of... Ugh, okay. You should make a roll. Poisons for medicine, I think maybe that applies. 
Let's see what happens. What I roll there? Twelve. Plus three, fifteen. So, um, a dwarf such as yourself is naturally resistant to poison. And this isn't a very good poison. I mean, probably it would be fine. Mm -hmm. um, maybe. But it might depend on the size of the creature. Mm. Like, if you're doing three points of poison damage to a T-Rex, I don't know if you have to worry about whether its eyeball is still containing enough poison to hurt somebody after your three points of damage has clearly killed the T-Rex. Also, also worth noting, we're not eating it. That's right. Mm. Our captors are eating what, it. Yes. What, what, what if it was a very small T-Rex? Like a T-Rex baby. They didn't specify a size, did they? Yeah, they didn't say grown T-Rex, but I think it would be cool you know and unusual to kill a baby T-Rex. Do you know how big a baby T-Rex still is? I mean, no. everything's bigger than you, so I wouldn't worry about seen, it too much. I have not encountered a T-Rex. <laughs> now, here's the thing. I'd be interested, I'd be interested I to do, to actually, to it see. It is impressive. To see a T-Rex, so I can do a sketch of one. Mm -hmm. I think that is a much more humane thing than to kill one for me. What if we found a T-Rex and just mortally wounded it to get its eyeball, but like not in such a you, way you, that you, it wouldn't be able to recover? You know what mortally wound means, right? That means... Lethal. Wound, what if so we found a T-Rex and not mortally <laughs> wounded it and would do it... I just think it's very cruel and unusual to take the head of a spider and the eye of a T-Rex for no good reason. We don't have to take the head of the spider, though. Cruel and unusual are ideal ways to describe a T-Rex. And we should not All right. even try. I, 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 I think that, that we should try to get the other stuff and we'll cross the T-Rex thing when we come to it, as in if we find a T-Rex, we'll discuss it. How the heck I have I, an idea. We, we need seven intact mosquitoes that haven't eaten any blood. Oh, I can, that's, I can catch those. That's easy. That, I'm not worried about the mosquitoes at all. I'm worried about the things that are larger than me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the these mosquitoes, guys? tell me the mosquitoes are not. <laughs> Dale, be real with me. There the are standard size mosquitoes. Thank God. There are also large mosquitoes, like giant mosquitoes in D&D generally and definitely in Chult, but you're not being asked to... Like, I'm sure they would accept it if you brought those back, but there are okay. standard mosquitoes. Good. Out of all the equipment we've been given, have we been given anything that allows us to keep this stuff in something? So you each started with one piece of clothing made out of some sort of processed animal carcass yes. and one satchel. Satchel. Okay, okay, thank you. Cool. So, yes. You said that this stuff is for, like, probably spells and, th and things? As far as I can tell, everything that, that is on that list, not everything, but most of what's on that list, other than the nuts and the berries, because you know the mayor, um, all of this could be spell components. What if, go with me on this, mm. what if your friend, the necromancer, you think he might have some of this? Now that's an interesting idea. And that would save us a lot of time, wouldn't exactly. it? Exactly! Mm-hmm. Um, and ideally, save us having to kill a T-Rex. I mean, I've never... I, he never asked me to kill a T-Rex. I'm assuming if he did have any T-Rex eyeballs, he'd just get one fr some from ones that are dead. So I don't know how fresh they'd be, but I'd never eaten T-Rex eyeballs, so I couldn't tell whether or not it would make a difference. It's it worth like a, a shot. To check. Yeah. It's worth a shot. Do you think he's any good at breaking curses? <sighs> <coughs> I don't, I don't I, care. I, I don't know, actually. Because, like, I've been here for four months. It. It's a six months exchange. My mom's going to start asking questions at some point. Maybe you got an extension. Maybe they like you in Waterdeep, wherever that is. I'm supposed to be learning, I don't know, some other obscure <laughs> language. Something. I mean, you're learning stuff, just not, you know. I can teach you Dwarvish. I mean, Excellent. I, that's not what I'm supposed to be learning, but maybe I changed my major when I got there. I've been trying to teach you Goblin, and absolutely nothing has been retained. I'm not interested <laughs> in learning Goblin if they're all like you, to be honest with you. This is why this I don't spend time with people. This campaign has turned into Dump on Graham. <laughs> <laughs> it's... It, that's... No, Dump on Snack. Mm. Fair. Snack's used uh, to it. All right, so step one. Uh, go to the, so, but the necromancer's place is a day away, right? Also, mm -hmm. yeah, and if we get caught anywhere near there, people are going to have questions. Don't we have a day to get all of this stuff? Yeah, like how long? Are, like, sorry, this is a meta question. Like, how long do they expect you to go to take to do a work detail? Because normally it's like a couple hours, but this is a ridiculous list. Yeah, normally it's it. They didn't say anything, and normally it's a couple hours. Like the party that 
ostensibly a bunch of the stuff is for tomorrow. Right. I think the the only chance then we have to get any of this is either we have to get extremely lucky and run across all of it, or we make a play to hit the necromancer as fast as we can. But he's like a day away still. Yeah, roughly. So that so we'll be a day late for the party, I guess. Like, well, I mean, like a day is in like twelve hours of reasonable traveling, or like a day is in twenty four hours of traveling. Uh, I would say more the former. Yeah. But sometimes it takes longer. Like there are bad storms. There are sometimes you have to make trips around. What if a T Rex got in the way? I mean, I, obviously in this I mean, case you just shoot it with your three arrows. Yeah. But I have five arrows. So <laughs> how could they possibly? They've clearly set to us up this? to fail here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for some weird reason. I think the Why? I think the idea though is if if we're all still cursed, let's not let's not fail. Even if we take a little bit longer than normal, let's not fail. Other than that, or we. Or we get what we can and then get back. It's an option. I mean, the thing is, is the mix. What if we get the stuff for the party? And we're like, hey, we got the stuff for the party. The T Rex eye, we didn't get, but yeah. we know where one might be. Well, it's, it's <laughs> weird, right? Like looking at the T Rex how eye ties the whole thing together. It's weird looking at how both the mayor and the sage, how they're both sick, with assuming the same thing. The mayor sending us a way to get some very specific components for spells. The Sage has your cloak around her neck, or parts of your cloak around her neck, because she wants to stay healthy. And they both want us, when we get back, they both want to send us to Port Nanzaru. Yeah. And giving us But a, how could they ever expect us to come back from this? Certainly not. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Well, Unle unless I'm so confused. Unless the idea is that the mayor is pretty much then I am a bit stupid. If the mayor is pretty much certain that he's going to that he's going to die from this thing, which is why the sage is wearing the thing to try to stay stay alive, if he's like come back with all the stuff so we can have he can have something made to hopefully prolong his life. But well, if it was that important to him, why does he send like four prisoners? It's a good point. Yeah, there's like a ton of guards not doing anything in the town. Yeah, but have you seen how blissed out they are? <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to be good at oh, doing this. Oh, my people are high. I need somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I need somebody who is an office knocker. He, okay. picked, he picked the four people who he picked, he picked the four people who are non-human to go do this. Mm. Yeah, do you think right. that means he's picked the picked the four most disposable people to give it a shot? I think that might be the idea. Sorry. And it's not like if we come back, we're going to impress him. He's going to be like, "You may go," like he said. I have a feeling this is we. Well, the sage said, "Don't trust them." Yeah. Maybe we should have asked more questions. <laughs> she didn't give us an tried, opportunity. She left. walked away. Snack kept trying to ask questions, to be fair. Yeah. That's true. You just wanted your stole back. It's very important. I'm going to get murdered. My mom will kill me. If the T-Rex isn't first. I am way more scared of my mom. You've never met my mom, but she's probably way more scared than a T-Rex, and I've never even seen a T-Rex. I had a cousin get in a fight with a T-Rex once. What mm -hmm. happened? He was so flat, his funeral pyre was a chimney. And the T-Rex didn't know he was in a fight with my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but my mom is, like, really intense. How many teeth does your mom have? They're all very straight, I can tell you that. It's not the case with the T-Rex. All right, well... Are, so should we just, like, go and try to get some of this stuff? I guess... Like, Let's try to get the stuff that won't get us killed. All very straight. <laughs> Sorry. We, can, we, we can... just we'll like come back and we're just like, hey, we got these 12 leaves and they're really nice. Yeah. We forgot, and here's some honey. We forgot the rest of the stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could probably why? find a so, beehive hey, easily why? enough. The sage also wanted us to go to Port Nanzaru when we get back from this. Yeah. She wasn't trying to make us go do that first. That seems so weird. And then also said, "Don't trust the mayor, even though it's the same place." So yeah, it's not like we're thing. it's not like we're making a choice not to trust the mayor. Hey, hey, you mayor. guys, you guys are from here. Do the sage and the mayor actually like get along? I'm getting the feeling that they don't, considering one cent has a nasty note. That's very like I've I've seen stuff like that in school, and it's usually because like Elephria is. They being a absolutely fiend. don't get along. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna try and catch a mosquito. Like, go ahead. Nine. I'm going to say 
that the best you can do is catch the mosquito that is disqualifying itself by... Mm. Yeah, I can do um, better. I need to roll... You're cover I need to roll higher than seven today. <laughs> being being covered in blood is probably good for luring the mosquitoes, but not so good for keep not having them drink so blood. Can I pour the blood. PHP for do, yeah. do any of you have any sort of... Um, be aware of giant spiders that are slowly descending from the treetops above type skill no. that you would like to roll? I have no. animal handling. Please no. give me a second. <laughs> that, that's, that's farther. I have survival. Dark, would that be? <laughs> dark vision? Uh, dark vision is good. I, I do not. To answer your question, no. All right. Do you, do you have perception? I mean, we all have I all these not, skills. I not right. perception. Yeah, I mean, are you proficient? I'm so not proficient. Okay. Well, well anyone who wants to see the giant spider descending from the treetops above you mm. may, I'd if like you choose, it. roll your perception. Oh, hey. It's pretty good. 21. 21 is plenty good. Uh, three. Uh, that's less good. Yeah. You still use your ability modifier even if you don't have this. Correct. Yeah, you just okay. don't add your. So, it's, so it's in my case, it's a, it's a subtraction. Twelve. Yeah, if you're proficient, you add the two. Right. What is perception? Uh, it's, it's, oh, sorry, it's two. Wow. Hang on. Proficiency bonus. Yes. Right. That is something I'm not aware oh, of. Oh, these these four that you've marked here. Yep. Get an additional plus two. Oh, do they? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Should that should I have put that in here? Yes, right right plus two in your proficiency. Cool. Bonus, so. I should have been rolling way better than everything. Well those are the five. proficiency yeah. bonus applies to like a it's like if you're using a weapon that you're proficient in, then you get that like it, it yeah. applies to all the different stuff. Cool. All it's right. good that you brought up weapons because that might be relevant what soon. What does that say? Hmm. While we're arguing says... about how doable this stupid Did list is. Eleven... I have dark vision. This is your way of keeping our campaign rolling wait, 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 a How's a twelve do? A, a 12, given the size of this thing and the fact that it's undead, is going to let you see this giant spider um, descending toward you. Right, I, right. The, I, ne the Netflix subtitles at this point reads, Swears in Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, guy, I think I have a... I'm starting to get a general gist of how big that spider that we were wondering about yeah. is. Yeah. Yes, because good news, <laughs> mm -hmm. this is the kind of spider you're after. Oh, I have good. I have more good news for you. Um, this undead spider is missing part of its torso and two of its legs on its right side. So it's moving much more slowly than it might otherwise. And um, it's kind of lopsided. So it's going to have disadvantage on a ton of stuff as it relief. eats you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no kidding. Is the fact that it's undead disqualify it from No, this? it doesn't say it has to be alive anywhere on this it, list. I guess we'll find out whether it still has venom or not. <laughs> <laughs> and whether it does or not, if you take back its head, you're technically doing the thing. That's true. Um, does my tattoo make any sort of reaction to the fact that it's undead? Uh, it has nothing to do with that? So, you do not notice anything happening right now with your tattoo. You can pretend I said no if you like. Okay, that's fine. All right. So, uh, Paul coded this really cool thing, and I'm very glad that we get to try it out. Uh, this is for tracking initiative. So we should. So we should. We should roll that. initiative then, shouldn't we? I. Yes. <laughs> that's All right. A good thing to do. You may choose not to. I recommend against that choice. Okay. All right. Let me know when you want mine. I will. Ooh. I can use my dice roll. Yay. Oh. Like you said, it's very slow. <laughs> Good point. I rolled okay for initiative. Despite noticing this this <laughs> spider and being very loud about it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, actually, I need to uh, mull. mull. Wait, do we have two PHBs here? One for our side of the table, one for your side of the table. Yes, are, you, are you looking up the stats for shortbow? Yes. Uh, it's here, uh, one. It's a 1d6 piercing. Okay. And, yes. a, and a mall. We all got shortbows and mauls, by the way. 
I didn't get them all. I didn't get them all. Oh, I got them all. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna. At some point, I was going to say, "Hey, maybe we should all tell each other what we're carrying." <laughs> yeah. I got but no, no. I got nothing. I, I got a, a short bow. I have a flint battle axe and a short bow. So the mall being. Can I use the mall? You can, but you're at disadvantage. Oh, okay. Uh, it does enormous amounts of damage. Yeah, it's no just going to be hard for you to hit with it. Yep. All right. So Mora, Good what's your I got initiative? One arrow. Twenty. Uh, twenty-one. 21. Who was that? And sorry, Dandy? Uh, I have a 8. Dandy. 8. And Snack? 11. And Bonton? 3. Oh, I beat Bonton. Yep. I'm a fool. So now, how do we... How do we get the initiative on the... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. L let's do it. And if we're not ready, we'll figure it out. Ta -da. Oh, oh that's pretty. Oh, nice job, Paul. Giant spider. Spicy. Giant undead Gorbaga spider. Yes. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. I have one arrow. So, I guess as the, f as the first person in initiative. Um, you didn't notice it. I didn't notice it. Can I just be like, oh, hey, look, it's a Gorbaga spider. I think that's how you spend your round, yeah. <laughs> Guys, it's a Gorbaga spider! Gorbaga? Uh, no! Gor yeah, it's definitely a Gorbaga spider! <laughs> Snack, oh. you're up! <laughs> what would you like to do, Snack? Well, I can either shoot it with my one arrow, uh huh, or I can try with disadvantage to hit it with my maul. Those sound like two of your options, yes. Yeah, I, well, those would be the only two options, I think. I mean, you could punch it, you could run away. You it's dance pretty scene. tempting. <laughs> it's pretty tempting. Um, well, the fighter's job is to get behind everyone else, right? Are you just going to borrow your other die? Yeah. Okay. Time to try and maul it. <clears throat> My high roll was an eight. Uh, so does a does a four hit? No, a four does not hit. Darn. Mm. I'm trying to hit it with a thing about as big as me. <laughs> it's challenging. Um, just quickly, um, you're if you're proficient with simple weapons, ahead. that includes simple melee or simple ranged. That it's both time. Okay, cool. Just I didn't see any. It's like okay, oh crap! Can I here. can I actually use a bow? They yes. have a guide. We have a guide. Need the other one. Oh, bitch. Um, all right. So it's not actually up close to us yet. It's, it's, coming... it's you're having a fight. If you want to uh, stab it with your rapier or whatever it is you have, um, you can run up to it and do that. But uh, do you have the goblin information handy? Uh, was that in? I need to remind myself what Fury of the Small does. <laughs> is that in here? <laughs> it's, I think so. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's like an. Uh, uh, it, it, if it's a if I damage them, I get to do extra, or I can choose like once a day to do extra damage or something. Uh, I'm betting that chat will have the answer by your next round, even if you don't find it. That's true. I could I could just check there. But yeah. uh, I am going to. Uh, okay, I guess before. So it's not in close combat yet. It's, it's still coming down. I, I mean, it's in melee combat with snack. Oh, okay. Yep. Can. Can I fire? Can you fire into melee? In it, when it's when it's this big, you can easily fire at part of it that isn't in melee. Okay, I will uh, shoot with my short bow. Feel free. Fifteen. Fifteen's a hit. Woo. For uh, now, uh, does the bow is plus dex to damage for the bow? I believe that's the case, yes. Alright, five points of damage. Nice. First, blood? first blood. Yeah. Blood? Yeah, they Does they, it bleed? They it's, blood. Some, it's undead. Some ickers comes out. <laughs> first yeah. ichor. It's kind of right partly undead, dusty, right. but yeah, first. that's the first dice friend's damage ever. Yay! Yay. We did it! Alright. Well, I mean, other than him hitting himself in the nose. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> maybe, it a, maybe it is a fighter thing. Okay. Okay, so uh, that's Daddy Dun. I, oh! I think I next leveled myself. The uh, giant undead Gorbaga spider is next. Oh, yeah. good. Um, there is one person in his face. 
Oh, good. <clears throat> um, to be fair, though, you're mostly giant mole. Hopefully, he attacks that. And I'm very lopsided, so I have disadvantage. Uh, my first roll's a natural one. Let's see if I do worse than that. I did not do worse than my natural one. So I completely miss you. Yes. Nice. Lucky. This advantage sucks. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, I mean, I actually really like the advantage and disadvantage mechanic. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah. The strength of the small thing is definitely going to be in the, about the goblin guy. Is it? Not. Darn, I missed it. All right, I'll is just, it in the I'll monster just, manual? I'll just pull up the chat. It's just, it's, yeah, the book is laid out in a weird way. All right, someone will know. Okay. Uh, Bonton. Oh, goodness. Um, there's, there's no point for, like, it's Thank you, thank you, Beauty. There's no, there's Page no point 119. in, um, that's not in the goblin section. Poisoning an undead anything, oh, it is. is there? It's a hobgoblin section. There we go. Um, found it, found it. Normally, no. Okay. All right. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's... I probably when you damage a creature with an attack or a spell... It was sort of lost in this page. Thank mm -hmm. you, chat. Uh, when you damage a creature with an attack or a spell and the creature's size is larger than yours, as is going to be typical, uh, you, can you can cause the attack or spell to deal extra damage. Nice. The extra damage equals your level. So one, mm. but it's something. When you use this trait, you can't use it again until you finish a sh short or long rest. Cool. But now I know. All right. So when you hit, it'll be when. a little bit nasty. Not if. Yes. When. I'm opting to attack this thing. I have a flint battle axe. Nice. And it's versatile, which means I can use a one hand, two handed. That's right. I didn't know that's what that meant until I looked it up. Oh. Uh, so, so it's D8 or D10. So it's going to be D10, but nice. I have to roll to hit, right? That's correct. Okay. Because you don't have a shield or whatever anymore. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> it's going to be a great game. There we go. How do we do? You are showing a three. I rolled a three. <sighs> Nothing I can add to that, I don't think. So. Well, I, you didn't choose to use your advantage. That's true, I didn't. So, uh, you could mulligan. Yeah, I'll, I'll mull it. I'll use my advantage. Okay. Advantage? okay. Or inspiration. Ins well, to oh, inspiration to gain, inspiration advantage. To gain I advantage. I see. Use my inspiration to gain advantage. It's probably a good But the, the mulligan use. is that he should have chosen to do right. that before he rolled. Okay. So I'm... I'm so you can have one of those per game. That is a nine. I rolled a nine. And how much do you gain? Uh, it's a strength weapon, I assume? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. So plus one? Plus one. So and then are you proficient with battle axes? All dwarfs are proficient with battle, battle axes. axes. Well, then you get... Three on the nine. Because I get my proficiency bonus as well. Yes. Okay, so then I have 12. 12's a miss. Of course it is. <laughs> Woof. All right. Okay. But Let's thanks. Well, that, well, now we kind of know what range we're looking for. 12 is a miss. That means I need to have... And a 15 hit. 15 hit, 12 is a miss. Okay. So it's like so 13 I, AC. If I'm, if I'm using my maul, that means I need to have both of them be, like, you have, higher than you 11. You disadvantage? You're up. Yeah, with the maul. Yeah. Ah, oh, jeez, okay. I have one arrow. But you don't have any other melee weapons. No. Well, I'm not proficient with daggers. So it's a simple weapon. You because you, you are. Mora okay. has all my other arrows. Mm. Mm. Would you like my arrows? Please, yes. I have proficiency in archery. Is that going to take my turn to do that? To give him my arrows? Uh, if you're next to each other, he can use his interaction to grab your arrow. Okay. Well, I mean, we I'll, are both in his face. I have one, so I'll, I'll fire it next turn, even though I'm in its face. I'm okay. going to grab an arrow and, joint and shoot because I'm proficient with short bows and I have a short bow. Hooray! Alright, so, hold on. Please, Del please tell Dale when you use the correct arrow. I don't know if I'm going to use the correct arrow or not. Uh, I have five arrows I think and you one would just, is crooked. You can just say that you're not. Right. I'm not going to use the correct arrow. So oh, the wood of the crooked, short bow crooked is arrow. stained purple. A tiny red stone is embedded in what may have been a knot in the wood. If you roll a natural 20 while using this bow, please point it out to Dale. Is what Ooh, fancy bow, bow said. Or maybe it's like, right? Who knows? So, two. It is not a natural 20. No, I think. It's going to be less than 12. It's going to be less than 12. <laughs> All right. Phew, an arrow fires off into the distance because I'm still, I'm still shook. So you're down to four arrows now. I am now down to four arrows, two of which are not good. All right, snack. Does the, I took archery as my fighting style. Does that stack on my proficiency? I would think so, or, otherwise or, what's the or, point? Or is that my proficiency? No, you're all, as a fighter, you're already proficient in archery. Okay, so I actually get plus seven to hit with a short bow. Can Lovely. You, can you see the... The volos? No, the... the oh, sure. 
Oh, here. Oh, right. We have yes. A, sorry. sorry. It's fine. That was All right. Funny. All right. Here we go. Okay. So, uh, point blank arrow. Nice. Surely this will work. Surely. Okay. I rolled an eight, which plus seven is fifteen. Is which you know hits. Yes. 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 Nice. One d six. One d six. And oh yeah, what plus. You, yeah, what's the what's the amount you add the dex? Yeah. Okay, cool. So one d six plus three. If I'm getting that wrong, chat will chew me out later. Yeah. I'll, chew you out, I'll chew you out right now. Yeah. Six. Nice. Excellent. Now I need more arrows. <laughs> cool. All right. Snack, by the way, is yelling during this entire thing. <laughs> Because there's something like eight times as big as him right in his face. He's just like... Did you do the extra one damage? Ah! Oh, you know I should? Fury of the small! Okay. <laughs> Boop. So you Dies. should... Since we are... Because you shot point blank and I'm engaging him uh, melee. Yeah. You right. should be able to just grab arrows off of me. Do I just do that at some point between then and my next turn? So, um, you have... There are five different types of actions. Right. Um, long answer, long answer, long answer. Short answer, yes. You okay. just do it. Right. All right. Well, uh, they were they yes. neglected to give me any uh, melee weapon. Thank you. Uh, I have a short. I just have the short bow. But you know what? What? That's okay. Hmm. I will punch it. <laughs> <laughs> punch the spider. Punch you, turkey. I mean, you are a monk, so this should you work. You have claws. They're like, oh, I wonder yes. what we have that's better than claws. Well, that means you get uh, to choose if you want uh, yeah. in this bludgeoning case, or slashing. Yeah. Nice. In this case, I am going to go with... I'm going to punch. Go for it. Uh, and that is a one. Oh. So, that's, so that is that just a straight miss? That's or just there, a straight miss. There's nothing worse that happens? Right. Okay, cool. <laughs> I missed. However... I was used to my other games. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I yeah, get yeah. a second attack. I remember when I first started playing D and D. There with was my, the, the critical fumbles deck. So one. So you kind of kind of go, woof. Yeah. So the mo one, the monk thing is that <laughs> if you're really you get your normal attack and then you get another unarmed attack, ah. which is not necessarily. I like the the thing is it's called an unarmed attack and normally an unarmed attack is a punch. Right. right. Explicitly for the monk, an unarmed attack is you hit it with another part of your body. Oh, so like maybe this is like it's a abstracted kick. as to what actually you are hitting with. Right. This is your you're, fluffy tail yeah. just sort of choking. You're doing it. a whirlwind of nastiness. Neat. Hey, that's a little better. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen's a miss. New information. All right. So we're, we're zoning in there. All right. And it's um, back to me. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so um, I'm going to carry on with my lovely target. <laughs> That's a natural 20, but I have disadvantage. Oh, it's still an 18. What's your armor class? Uh, I didn't calculate that. What is my armor class? Uh, if you're not wearing armor, it's just 10 plus your dex. Oh, then it's 13. Oh, well, I hit you. You sure did. All right. Snack is in a lot of trouble. Snack is in a certain, hey, he didn't a certain amount you, of he trouble. He didn't hit you with the 20. That's good. It's true. That's good. Yep, yeah, yeah. Yep. Look on the yep. positive side. Uh, I rolled a five. You take eight points of damage. <laughs> oh, boy. How many HP do you have? Remaining? Yeah. Four? Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that people all, all, all uh, you know, this week when we've been talking about Dice Friends, people are like, oh, yeah, 40 points of acid damage. <gasps> like, we're level one characters. That no. We're in our whole party. If you like, split split four ways, that would eliminate that everybody would kill in the party. Us, yeah. <laughs> also, that was what, 2008? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, check hey, the memes. Check remembers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Bonton. I can either. Smash it. Axe it. I'm going to axe it. Yeah. Axe, axe it a question. Axe it a question. Two handed. 15. Plus. Uh, plus one, plus your 16, and because I'm proficient in it, that makes it 18. Yes. And we know 15 hits. Well, 15 so, hits because you... Yeah. Right, 15 just hits. So, yeah, it's always to hit. Okay, so I'm rolling up damage, and it's 1d10 because I attacked it two-handed. Sure, both. Ooh. It'll be plus one because of your strength. 1d10. Ah. Nice. Do you, 
That is a nine. So nice. I do ten points of damage. Hopefully you cleave that. So the short bows check against dexterity. Yes. Okay. <laughs> What? Why is Heather laughing? Cause, well, because something else just popped up in initiative. Ooh. Oh, hey, look at that! <laughs> F. It's F, a, F, F, F. It's also not just a. No, it is a herd. So, um, you have attracted some attention. No kidding. Well, I hate this place. <laughs> um, I wish we were in the cave. <laughs> <laughs> There is a lot of movement in the tall grass around you. Uh -huh. um, you've been staying out of the tall grass because it's taller than you. Yeah. Um, and some of these tiny venomous dinosaurs are smaller than you. Mm -hmm. um, so this is good news because it meant that you were wise in your use of your attack bonus. Oh, good. Because now that the undead spider has stopped moving. Oh, oh, good. Yay, you did Yay. it, Mage. All right. Well, thanks, Bontan, for thanks, cleaving, Bontan. Its, <laughs> cleaving its spine Plus too. in twain. Yes. Good work. Did it leave the head intact? Uh, I'm not the one who attacked it. Did oh. it leave the head intact? Yes, I okay. leave the head intact. Because I would have gone after the wound anyway. So, yeah. That makes good sense. That makes good sense. Unlike. The giant spider, the tiny venomous dinosaurs, do not have disadvantage. Right. But unlike the giant undead spider, the tiny venomous spiders or dinosaurs have like a minus one to hit and do way less damage. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, way less damage. I mean, they're venomous, but um, you, you may have noticed that I didn't make you make a roll for venom when I bit you. Because his right. venom sacks are all dried up. Oh, good. Uh, good. Piss. Good. 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 Yes. Um, so you were lucky there. Yeah, that's. Um, so only six oh, so of the herd. Have, we don't know that. Have come out of the tall grass. Okay. There's lots of tall grass still moving, but some of them are still kind of timid. Mm. Um, it's not their turn. Like there's just good news all over the place here. Yeah, you're yeah. right. It's well, they we only have one other turn before they get to go, but yeah. But that's different from zero. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, Mora, do we haul tiny ass dinosaurs help? Do we? There's there's a herd of tiny dinosaurs coming out of the grass. Six yeah. of them. They're they're bipedal. Only six of the herd are coming they're out like right now. They're like chicken sized, right? They're like um they're like cat sized. Like which wait, is wait, wait, which wait, is wait, a wait, yes. Hold on, my cats or a normal cat? <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you met our cats? They're very large. Uh, that's a good point. They're somewhere in there. They're, they're, I mean, they're bigger than a chicken, but they're smaller a than a batiri. Okay. Oh, good. What a refreshing change of pace. Mm -hmm. Ah! Something I'm bigger than. But can't use your advantage against this. No, nope. but you can only small... use it once between rests, uh, and he's fair. already used it. Yep. Yeah, that's a good point. All good. God. Shoot So one. if they're really tiny, are they hard to hit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! But they don't have the thick hide that the giant undead spider yeah, has. Probably, yeah, they'll probably go down quickly if you, if you hit. I don't want to get into, like, I don't want to waste arrows and, like... But maybe we can scare the rest of them off. All right. Because uh, the, 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 the ones in the tall grass are too timid to engage. Mm. All right, you I have... You intimidate, right? Oh, this is such a bad idea. I have I an obsidian have dagger. Because I don't, don't want to use an arrow on, like, a chicken. I think right. for intimidation to work, they have to be able to... Understand? Understand me. Yeah, uh, so I have a yeah, tiny... Universal I, language. So I have... Uh, so yeah, I have a chipped, crappy dagger. But, like, should we do, maybe just run away? Or would they, would they chase us? Yeah, All right, exactly. let's fight. I'm gonna... Do you have the chalt book handy? I'm gonna swig it with my dagger. Hold on. <laughs> they have not yet encircled you to prevent you from going back to the bridge in yeah. answer to your question of where would we run to. Back okay. to the bridge. Right, okay. Well, now so we just, like... Hey, yeah, we, we found some... It, it was too dangerous. Mm -hmm. Can we go back to prison now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just to stay there forever at this point. All right, I'm going to swing... I'm going to swing at the closest dinosaur. I'm going to, like, back, 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 back! And, pokey, like, pokey. hopefully, like, like, put my blade through its skull and say, I'm sorry for disrespecting nature, but you are being very disrespectful <laughs> to me first! Hey, Natural hey. 20. Nice. Yay. Wow. So, you're all 
kind of in a clump at this point. You're attacking with your melee weapon. Yeah. You have a companion who is adjacent to the person you're attacking. Mm -hmm. Am I correct in thinking you have sneak attack? Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, you are you are a rouge. Uh, where would I have the? Oh. Let's just say you have it. Yeah, um, probably. I so, might not have written it down. Um, have it's the important? Have you sneak worked out is... what your dagger does damage wise? Uh, no. Okay, let's do that. It's going to be d4 plus zero. So because you have critically hit this tiny venomous dagger or d dinosaur with your dagger um, and sneak attack, you're going to do 2d4 plus d6 damage. Oh, oh. Sneak attack is bonkers. Right, I forgot. I've never played a rogue before, so oh. I've never had to calculate sneak attack. So well, that's two. That's on my the D4. last time you can ever say that. You want to say it one more time, or are you I've good? I've never played a rogue, so I've never had to do sneak attack. Okay. Okay. That's it. That's for life. Plus, so you I do four damage. Wow. Four so, damage. You rolled so poorly on the sneak attack. I know, but uh, hey, that's not that's not. Plus that's, a D six. Uh, that that was, is plus my D six. She rolled a one and, and a one on and the D fours oh. and a two on the D six. Wow. Wow. Rough. So oh, you. What you're going to learn from this is that these tiny dinosaurs have at most four hit points because it goes down. Uh -huh. Aha! Ah. Okay. Yay! So good job. Yay! Ah. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> oh, the beauty of nature. Yeah. <laughs> Must protect all nature. Ah. <laughs> Supernatural chult. So, it's now the turn of the tiny venomous dinosaur herd. Mm-hmm. I and noticed I have... that something hasn't come off the initiative list. Mm. Oh, I don't know how you do that. Or... Oh, I do. Here, hang on. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah. I mean... Oh, there we goodness. go. Good, good, good. Good, good. Okay. I mean, it was undead, so yeah, who knows. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it, thank you Dale for pointing can, that out. Dale that was just it, a mistake. Dale okay. can put it back on the list if he wants. Mm -hmm. So... Mm, yeah, let me know if you're doing anything with that uh, armband tattoo. Okay. You don't know what to do with it. I don't really know what to do with it. I have to devise something, perhaps. I'm not uh -huh. sure. We'll see. Um, did you collect health. any of the necro berries? Because they'll give hit points back to undead things. We were they were on your list. We were way too busy arguing. Yeah, that was on our list. Like, that was right. real dumb. Like, we should have been looking for stuff while we were while we were bitching about our dads. Well, you were we trying to catch mosquitoes. We literally oh, walked across man. the bridge, had a very short discussion, and then were attacked. Assaulted by an undead spider. It's a good point. These oh. are two-hour slots. we got to keep things moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, I had six of them. That means two of you had two on you, and uh, two of you had one on you. Okay. So, um, uh, you two each had two on you. You each had one on you. Oh. I'm just going to... Go around the table. You've already killed one of the ones that's on you. Right. Uh, does an eleven hit you? Armor class ten. Nice. So yeah, it does. You're you're have no dex bonus. His deck. He has ten dex. Yeah. Uh, I do one point of damage from you, and I need a Constitution save against my venom. Mm. You had three cons. So three plus three con. Right? So 12. 15. Uh, 15 plus I also have Dwarven resistance against poison damage. Oh, against damage. So. Right, which this yeah. is. Okay. So resistance just means half damage. Oh, okay, cool. Thank um, you. So and 15. Uh, you, that, that's plenty. Okay. So, so you're don't... not, the venom doesn't affect you. Awesome, thank you. Yay. Um, I don't know why I'm thanking him exactly, but... <laughs> so I hit uh, armor class 5. Uh, no, I have a 13. Nice. All right. Tiny venomous dinosaur, first attack on you. Okay. Uh, how's a natural 20? Is a natural 20 going to hit? I, I think it does. Yep. Wow. Oh, I'm making Kathleen rolls. Two points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, Burn. Uh, I, I feel sorry for her rolling three dice yeah, and getting yeah. a four. And do I have that to was a sympathetic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I rolled do I have to a, roll a, d a twenty before that. You do. Roll it there? What is it? It's a. It's a Constitution save. So d twenty plus Constitution. Yeah. Uh, Seventeen. Uh, that's plenty. Yeah, I'm not saying I'll never tease Kathleen. I'm saying that wasn't <laughs> me teasing Kathleen. Fair. Yeah. 
No, it's open season for teasing. <laughs> open teasing season. All right, so uh, next attack on uh, Dandy. How's a 13? That is a miss. Okay. And there's only one uh, attack on Mora. How's a three? Does a three hit you? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'd be really <laughs> sad if it did. I'd be like, I taught you guys incorrectly. <gasps> so it looks like it's Snack's turn. Okay. I want to ask if I can do something. Because I want to say that this is something that Snack tries to do half, half on instinct, being partly surrounded. Which is to, cl <laughs> to, cl to climb on Bonton. Yes. Okay, good. I'm climbing up Bonton, yelling, stack with me. Um, you don't, <laughs> Bonton doesn't know what that is. You don't, you don't, you don't have a lot of op option here. No. So the Batiri mm -hmm. make battle stacks. They sure do. They, they, they stack up on one another. The the only the top only the topmost one can attack. Only the bottommost one can move. They have independent HP. Mm -hmm. uh, the top one also. This makes, seems really dumb. Can can you make a stack with things that aren't Batiri? No. We're, we're gonna try something though. <laughs> yep. The, go, the goblin at the bottom makes all strength decks and con checks, and oh. the goblin at the top makes all the int, wiz, and charisma checks. This is a bad combination for the two of us. So okay, ba you get on his. A head. battle stack can't jump, <laughs> but it can grapple or shove. Uh, and it can dash, disengage, dodge, and hide. How is this better than just people by themselves? I'm off the ground. Mm -hmm. Right. The bad news is that you're going to have disadvantage on your attacks, and the stack doesn't work. But the good news is that they can't reach you. Exactly. Now, do I have disadvantage on the shortbow attacks? Yes. Duh. Because you're, like, balancing on someone you don't know how to balance on. Your <laughs> instincts are all balancing on someone your Worth size. It. And he's got this fat head. Worth and it. Broad shoulders. I Lots have, of room like, to move around. So much, so, so much space for activities. He's basically using you as a human shield. Yeah. Dwarven yeah. Yeah. shield. Dwarven Which are shield. led to believe are pretty good. Okay, I've got disadvantage, but I do have plus seven with the short bow, so yeah. I'm feeling confident. Let's let's go on this one. Confidence? Hey! That's an 18 and a 14. So nice. that's a... Still good. That's, yeah. uh, that's got to be a hit, right? That's a hit. Okay, sweet. Oh, That's man, a 21. You turn one of those dinosaurs roll. into a skewer. <laughs> and I I rolled a 1, but it's plus 3, so that's 4. You know 4 takes them out. Nice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hold still. It's like, can, can I you're help a, you? <laughs> you're a terrible stack. <laughs> Daddy. It's like you've never done this before. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm going to punch one. I guess there's two on me, so I'll punch one of the ones in, in, right in front of me. Have you player's handbook? Yeah. Uh, that is a 12. Is that your final answer? That is my final answer. Okay, 12 is a miss. Okie doke. I will punch another, or punch the same one again. Go ahead. That is a 13. 13's a hit. <laughs> All right. You may have learned something there. For six points of damage. Goes down. <laughs> nice. All right, 13's the uh, target number on these guys. Bonton? I want to try something. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm looking you forward to this. You guys can't stack on, that, <laughs> they'll just go up into the sky. That doesn't work. <laughs> Quickly, climb onto my shoulders and pull me up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I seem to remember somebody took some damage a while ago. Yes. As a cleric, I can cast Cure Wounds. Uh, and that is a touch action, and I believe I'm touching snack. I believe you are as well. <laughs> okay. Creature you touch regains a number of hit points if I manage to land this. Let's see what happens. That's a nine. That's a nine, plus my spellcasting. the hell is my spellcasting? Wait, uh, is this a concentration roll? What are you doing? This is yeah. a, a VS instantaneous. How do I actually cast? You, you, had you just cast, cast it. I cast it. Oh, yeah. You cast it. Oh. You just roll to see how many hit points you return. Oh, great. Okay. I thought yeah, you had I think to there's see what something about you're in melee combat, whatever. We just just heal them up. Okay. We're going to be fine. 1d8 plus my spellcasting ability modifier. And your spellcasting ability is, is wisdom. Wisdom. Okay. Yeah. So it's 1d8 plus 3? Yeah. Sick. Hey, that's that's 7. Nice. Good job. Good job. Okay. I'm back up to 11. Magic is easier nice. than I thought. 
Okay, There's you're, much better at being, mm -hmm. you're much better at being a stack than I initially thought. <laughs> I feel like there's some positive energy coming up through your legs or possibly your crotch if you're sitting there. You, you have a very warm ass. Yeah. Um, your the, nose heals. I also have. A, <laughs> oh. oh, I can breathe. Oh, oh, I can smell. Oh, I can smell that. Oh, it's that thing where like you that your nose spider. has been stuffed up for yeah. a long time. It's like oh, oh. <laughs> the spider though. No. So at the end of the round. One of the tiny venomous dinosaurs that's in the tall grass um, makes a loud call. And um, further away is an answering call from the other direction. Mm. Okay. I don't know what that means. M it maybe means it means they're all going to leave you. Or that's my that, hope. I think it means something big is coming to rescue them. Is the call that we hear far away, like, a lot deeper than the... Or does it sound like the, the dinosaur call? It sounds like multiple little dinosaur calls. Okay. It's kind of like the little dinosaur call with reverb or something. But it's high pitched. I want to fight company. like 40 dinosaurs. I don't think you should have told me that before I wrote this. <laughs> like, you're my can... boss. You can tell me I'm not allowed to do things here. No. <laughs> I don't think we can take on that many dinosaurs. I know no. how to find out. Holy hell. Um, it's your turn. Oh, it's my turn. What was that noise? Talking is a free action, right? Yep. <laughs> Good. It sounded like a lot more dinosaurs. Uh. Are these things even on our list? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> we should run away. Can we run away from this round? There's six of them, right? They, he says they have not surrounded us yet, There's so we can run away. There. There's four can of them. Can we get them? to high ground? It's working okay for me. There's three of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, You're only four feet off the ground. <laughs> Better than normal. It's out of the zone. Uh, like, seriously, do we, like, just bolt? Or are we just going to run to something worse? Is the only place we can run back to the bridge? Yeah. I, well, that's the only safe place you know of. If right. you want to try something else, you can try something else. The bridge is back there. I mean, we, we can run, like, forward along the path, I guess, that we're on. Oh, no. just break on through. That seems mm. really bad. If we run back to the bridge, we have to take our time crossing it, or else we're gonna make probably, rolls. Yeah, we're gonna have to make a lot of rolls. On the plus side, if we make it to the other side, we can we can give them the spider head and be like, "Look, oh, we don't have the spider head yet." It's right there. Someone yeah. has an axe. You could chop it off. Yeah, just grab it. Undead spider, though, would they? No, that's what they asked for. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. that's one of the things. Yeah, they didn't say it had to yeah, be alive. We don't. Like, our characters don't know that, that we didn't, because we didn't need to check Venom, that, like, it's out of Venom, right? We're just like, there's one of the things on your list. Yeah. Also, please give us some more arrows. <laughs> also, the head's kind of big. You could say, hey, we're just dropping this off and going back out. Yes, exactly. yeah. That's, like, that is a very good idea. I would think that you've done that sort of thing in the past when yeah. they have given you bigger lists. It does not fit in our satchel, yes. Yeah, exactly. All okay. right. Uh, retreat! Bravely run away! I'll form the head. <laughs> So you're leaving. I'm leaving combat. All right. So you're ah! you're using your action to get out of to melee combat. And yes, and then you're just I'm bolting towards the bridge. Yeah. Toward the bridge. Okay. I'm probably not going to start like running onto the bridge because I'm smarter than that. I'm not very smart, as you may have guessed from how I'm playing this character, but I'm not that dumb. Uh, so I'm just like. All right. So. Um, a bunch more of the dinosaurs emerge from the tall grass. You picked a good time to leave. <laughs> I will not be attacking you. Oh, okay. I thought they were going to haul ass after her because she's the one running. <laughs> That'd have been real funny. There, there are, you know, yeah. big meat sources right in front That's of them. Fair. Specifically yeah. two. Yeah. This one has a really tall hat on. And the other one is covered in fur. <laughs> and the hat, the hat, by the way, is wearing a battle mask. It's a wood battle mask, but the wood is stained purple, and someone has written Faithless in black across its face. Ooh. That's what they gave me. Faithless. It's so weird. So, is it doing for your thing? mental picture of the encounter. Batiri no. normally wear battle masks, yeah. and um, they have ceremonial masks and, and so forth, but if they don't want to use them on casual duty, the militia still provides them with casual masks. 
um, which is what these purple masks are. But before oh. they gave one of the militia masks to Snack, um, they made sure that everybody knew that uh, there was something going on. Um, all of this is, you're trying to distract me or something, but I'm still going to attack you with a bunch of dinosaurs. Damn it. I just wanted people at home to know what I look like in this moment. Like an idiot on the <laughs> back of a dwarf. <laughs> Should we be expecting fan art? Potentially, I'd love to yeah. see some. Uh, I rolled a two. Does a one hit you? Absolutely not. Okay, how about an eleven? Armor class ten. You made one it. point of damage. Yeah. And ten. Uh, one point of damage. Okay. And dinosaur number four. Fourteen. Yep. One point of damage. Uh -oh. So my d20 is doing well and my d6 is not. I have no problem with that, really. Okay. So... Mm. With the now that with with the stack, does that slow Botan down? How strong are you? Uh, in terms of strength, or yeah. Oh, strength is a, a twelve. I, have I would say one. no. You don't weigh very much. No, I mean I can. I mean I can wear light armor, medium armor, and carry shields and stuff all day long, and it doesn't slow me so down. So you can. I've so, so, that. so you can like run away with him on your head. Absolutely, I will. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm next, and my 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 option is to like. Hold or get off and run, and I'm not keen on doing that. He's a slightly heavier, squishier helmet. <laughs> you could steal one of his arrows and shoot one. It's more like a padded. Oh, I have his arrows. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to spend some time it. attacking Paul. Yeah, go uh, for sorry, it. Sorry, no, please. <laughs> uh, sixteen. Sixteen is a hit. One damage. Natural twenty. <laughs> Three damage. <gasps> wow, what a frisky dino. I tell a lie. It's two damage. Ha! I got really excited, but mm -hmm. I misread my die. But it was still crit. Uh, six? That is a miss. And finally, nine. Also miss. Um, right. Do I have to make a bunch of poison rolls, or once I've done it once? Uh, every time I hit you, you have to make the poison roll, and I keep forgetting to do it. So, uh, constitution saves, please. All of us? Uh, oh, I, I, I did hit you. So I got yeah. hit twice, right? Then please make two. Same, same with you. Yeah. Ooh, Four? that's not good. No, you got hit twice. No, I got hit more than uh, I thought. In the last round. Oh. Uh, you got hit earlier, but you rolled. Four is a miss. Take a point of poison damage. Uh, is that that's just regular 18? damage? Yeah. 16? That's, uh, that's a 16. Yeah, so 19. So 19 is a success. Yep. Uh, 21. <laughs> that's a success. 14. 14 is a success. Why are you rolling more? All right, I don't have to roll anymore. Right. Until next round, and then Until I'll bite you some more. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you for reminding me. I appreciate you not taking advantage of my absent-mindedness. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's me. I've attacked you with eight dinosaurs. There are more coming for next round, though, I so don't worry. Leg it! Uh, snack. I'm just going to shoot one because I'm not moving off this head. All right. So disadvantage. Disadvantage. Uh, that's a eight and a nine, so that's still a... 15. That's still a hit. And burst it. Nice. Seven. Yeah, that's a successful dinosaur killing. Just a cloud of feathers. Yeah. <laughs> Dandy. Run! <laughs> yeah, I guess. I'm just wondering if... I guess because Botan, Botan's going to run. Um, so there's withdraw, which is you get away without provoking mm -hmm. anything. That's your action, and then you still have your move on top of that. Right. Or you can attack and then try to... Right, but then I'm going to take some attacks of opportunity on you. Right, and there's like four guys on me. Yeah, right. I just run. Uh, how, do you, how, how confident are you with my four attacks? Not super confident, because okay. you hit me a bunch last time. <laughs> I did. I really want to hurt more, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I'll... I'll <laughs> I'll withdraw or uh, disengage. Disengage. Yeah. Um, so that's you get your movement. Y yeah. So you're so, you're taking off. In yeah. In fact, I get I run past. <laughs> <laughs> What's your movement? Uh, I have a thing where um, I can run it. I can move at double speed for one turn. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty. <laughs> when cats get startled, yeah. Yeah. 
All right, so that was Danny. There's like some scrabbling. Because <laughs> if you could run on all fours, it'd be rad. Yeah. Um, so if I understand correctly, yes. you're chopping the head, mm -hmm. grabbing it, and running. Yep. So you can do that, but I'm going to get some attacks of opportunity on you. That's probably the best thing we can do at this point. All right. Okay. It's not going to be great. I'm holding on. Uh, six is a miss. Yep. Nine is a miss. That's correct. Eight is a miss. Yes, it is. Come on. And I rolled a two. Wow. wow. One. I, maybe they were distracted and trying to trying to go for snack. Yeah, <laughs> maybe so. <laughs> Just like. Because it would have been kind of fun if I could have knocked you over and he oh, had to drag you. Yeah, and... yeah absolutely. <laughs> yeah, fun. Well, so, I guess we could pull Chad. I, I think so, that would have been So fun. you chop off the head of the... Yes. And and that was me um, trying to attack you as you get away. Yes. So I think we're out of initiative rounds at this point until we get to the bridge. Because you guys are all just booking it and they yeah. can't keep up with you. Right. But they are chasing you. Right. Mm. So what's the plan? Uh, well, you get Well, you get there first. Whoever yeah. gets there first should just go. Yeah, because this is like a single file type bridge, right? We can all, and the four of us can walk across and have this head, and we are not going to cause the bridge to break. If we walk right. slowly and carefully, but there's t t there's like eight dinosaurs chasing us. Right, walk without rhythm. Okay. So, are you still on his shoulders? Currently, because we're hauling. Right. Yeah. Okay. I feel so, like we are crossing the bridge. I might get down, yeah. You don't want his... But you guys get there before we Yeah, do. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. You high dexterity, he low dexterity. <laughs> he falls, you're on top. That's not good. Yeah. So you are um, moving quickly across the bridge? Uh, yeah, I, w I, I would say I'm moving quickly across the bridge. All right. So. This, this is like a sort of a single file kind of bridge we're talking you about. You could here, right? be double file if you wanted to be. Mm. It's like four or five feet wide. Okay. But it's like would rock a lot. Okay, like I think that's kind of inevitable. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, uh, let's just go to the single file. All right. So the good news is that your dexterity saving throw DC to not screw this up is one. Okay. The bad news is you always fail on a natural one. Oh. Okay. Seven. I did not get a one. <laughs> All right. That looks scary from over here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's uh, a one with a really big top on it. Yeah. The other good news is that because you're not in an incorrect stack, you don't have disadvantage as you're going across. That's good. That's very good. All right. So you're hauling it across. You're next, I believe. I am next. All right. Just don't roll a one and I won't fall off the bridge. Right. And if you roll a one, you even get a, a chance 16. to... Nice! I'm going across So ahead. you even look nice. I'm going across <laughs> ahead of you. Okay. Because I just jumped down and leg it. Sticking me with a head. Well, yeah. Okay. You know how big that thing is? You think I can carry that? I hoped you could. <laughs> the head is probably larger than me. I have the head. <laughs> I weigh 37 pounds. Teamwork! Well, you yeah. are not jostling the bridge as you run, because it's not yeah. bumping from your steps, so you have advantage on this roll. Oh, nice. At least one of your two d20s, though, does have to be greater than one. Okay. <laughs> I rolled an eight and a three. Whoa. So, I make it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see, this is easy. Just you guys are totally fine. What's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? I guess there's no, I mean, no way. Let's, let's, let's see this one. Oh, it's like a 19. Yep, it's a 19. Oh, thank God. So, yeah, we can, the initiative tracker can go in. Okay. Um, there are like 40 of these small dinosaurs running across the bridge behind you. Right. Um, several of them fall off and go like tumbling head over head. Just, just, because they're trying to, they're yeah. Not, they're not smart. Yeah. So, um, uh, Senny is, is. She's having a nap. She's actually <laughs> asleep. As this is happening, Daddy. she's got her shoulders against Daddy. the boulder. So you've do, made it across. Do we do? Do I know how to operate? Do the bridge thing? It takes two people. You have to lift a thing, and that'll and then. Uh, I mean, probably the, not. You're not from here. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I guess like. 
So Sunny. you're waking up yeah, Sunny. Sunny. So she's like, what? What? Oh, uh, yeah, it went out. Do you have, like, Flint and Tinder? Dinosaurs! I, I love it. Whoa! <laughs> I love dinosaurs. Many, many, many dinosaurs. Oh, many, oh, many oh, dinosaurs. Oh, 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 I know what we should do. We should release the suspension bridge. Can we wait yes. till they're high. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, okay. I mean, we want a quick way off the plateau, and this is probably it. <laughs> so, I, I mean, you guys have made it across. Thank oh, God. Okay. Okay. So, she's like... I know how to do this. I do too, right? Y yeah, you do. Because I've, do. I've done her job. Right. Okay. I can help her. Um, so, she, in, in fact, you're probably at it before she even gets up. <laughs> yeah. And you know how to do this. Do you're I? from around you here. You do. You've, um, w well, you were here long enough that you, like, you were studying a day away from here. You've yeah, heard all about this. You know fair, the mechanism. Yeah. I'm aware this thing exists. Right. I'm not telling you to do it. I'm telling you you know how to do it. I'm I'm starting. I'm holding the head. She's making her way to it. I and mean, I'm, you can put the head down. Yeah, I put the head down. I'm going to start doing it, too. All right. So here's how it works. You lift a safety. That means it doesn't just happen in a strong wind. Right. Good. And then you release the bridge support. Okay. Okay. So you guys do that. Yeah. Now, as designed for a non-sabotaged bridge, at this point, the suspension bridge would fall into the chasm and be connected with those big coils of ropes that right now should be uncoiling rapidly. Mm -hmm. Fascinating words you're using here. Um, Carry on. Okay. That is not what happens in this case oh, in no. its entirety. Some of that happens. Okay. The suspension bridge does fall away and it successfully defeats the entire tiny venomous dinosaur herd. I hope we get XP Good. for this. You <laughs> do, and I'm just going to remove them from initiative now, because they're no longer a threat. I mean, 40 go. of them. I'm glad we didn't stick around for this. But there's no ropes connecting it to the rest right. of the thing anymore. Right. So now the suspension bridge has fallen, is no longer connected to the plateau, and oh. Sammy is just shouting at you guys, what did you do? Oh my god. End of session one. Oh my Thank god. you. For was, watching Dice Friends. That was mostly not our fault. I mean, it was technically all our fault, but the part that it didn't work the way it was supposed to, not our fault. We'll be back. We will be back. Please join us at the next session um, when we will see how things go from here. We're in so much trouble! This is, like, equal to my mom. Wow. We're already in jail! Yeah, what are they going to do? Put us in double jail? <laughs>